Hello, board members. How are we doing this fine, fine Tuesday afternoon? Well, I hope. As it is Action Tuesday, we are going to be continuing our playthrough of this war of mine. Um, we are pretty, pretty far into our second attempt now using our uh, ruffians squad. Um, we have a cat burglar, uh, nineteen year old, I think is what she said, or, or no, no, no. She's been stealing since she's 14, but she's actively a cat burglar before the war. We've got the guy who signed up to be part of the war and then decided he didn't actually want to be part of the war. And then a TV chef who just has a low moral compass, apparently. Uh, but either way, we are currently doing a uh, Saws. Saws is currency playthrough as we, we build saws and use those to trade for supplies. Uh, last week, we kind of unlocked the rest of the map. Uh, which most of which is still locked off because there's ongoing actual control of the uh, environment by the government or by the the current government. <laughs> I don't know. It's very confusing. But I hope everyone's doing well. I have a, a sort of a good news, bad news situation. Um, which I'll let whoever shows up first be the the final judge on that one. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to make a light change this week. I didn't realize it was Easter Sunday. But, uh, uh you know what? I'll just say it now. <clears throat> um, Sunday, uh, unfor I didn't realize it was Easter Sunday. So I, um, I'm going to have family stuff to do. So I will not be having a stream Sunday. Um, I will probably end up transferring it to Monday where we will continue playing through, um, Penumbra Requiem, the the uh, the third Penumbra, which is all story and lore, or all story and puzzles, no monsters. So we can continue that Sunday. Um, but the good news, that being the schedule change being the bad news, the good news is I finally got around to ordering some interesting items we can try on stream as a pseudo para sponsorship in the form of a bunch of freeze dried candy and treats um some of them are pretty mundane ones um this was something that was mentioned by Ika over on the discord about um oh there we go um he he picked up some freeze-dried candy uh i'm like well that sounds interesting i want to try that so i went online and i found the freeze-dried candy company it's pretty straightforward and uh ordered a collection of random things I got some, um, pop, what do they call them? Candy poppers. Something that looked like what Ika had gotten. Um, I also got some, a special, a special flavor, which we'll believe for to be a surprise. A special, uh, flavor of freeze dried peeps, the marshmallow peeps. Um, I also got, um, watermelon chewies, like the watermelon gummies freeze dried. And what was the, oh, um, what was the third thing? French toffee. We got, I got French, uh, strawberry flavored fr uh, French toffee as the last freeze dried thing. So, um, I'm looking forward to seeing how that actually goes. Uh, I just ordered it shortly before the stream started. So I don't know when they're even going to ship it, but hopefully within the next week or so, we'll be able to try some of those on, on, uh, stream. Start with a scenario. Are we gonna, okay. We don't want to do that. What is this? Mod oh, set up mods, manage workshop or or babble content? Babble content. Or create your own scenario. Huh. I wonder what babble content is. Maybe that's like their official mod center or something. That's really interesting. All right, but we'll be continuing. But no Ica here. We're, we're all on our own. We're out in the wild, running about. And we're apparently on day 19, which may or may not be about halfway through uh, a season. All right. Made it without a single scratch, which usually implies that she didn't find much. Um, okay, yeah, we did not come back with much. But we did have two gun parts, which is important. Um, we've been searching for supplies and brought some interesting things. All right. All right, first things first, let me kind of try to get my brain re reset to where we're actually at on supplies. All right, so we got the two gun parts we just brought home, which is fine. We could uh, make two saws with that. 
Same, we have uh, seven components, so that'll pay for the two saws. Um, I think home-wise, we have basically everything we need for, like, maintaining the house. We've got ten food. That's three rotations of food. I remember talking about that last time. We've got 29 water at, at what is it, three apiece for food. We're good there. We have ten fuel left, so that'll easily pay for the for the three the three food or the nine food the only thing we're gonna have to start worrying about is how cold the house is getting at night that's the only thing we're gonna might need we might need uh wood for i mean we still have this wood which is fine we can convert into fuel because i don't think there was any kind of other things in the house uh that needed to do, uh, be get done uh, oh, Ika, welcome. How goes it? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good basic day. I actually had some decent work to do today at work. I was actually pretty busy. Um, which is, you know, it's good to work. Get a good work in there once in a while. How are you doing? You have a good day? Um, I don't know if it, were you here for the, the surprise information? Rat? Yeah, the rat meat. Doesn't work for you. Nope, no, no trap emote. Unfortunately. Um, uh, make? Okay. I don't know how long you've been here. Did you hear about the news about this weekend? I had good news, bad news. Bad news is I didn't realize this Sunday's Easter Sunday, so I'm going to have to reschedule the stream for that Monday afterward. Uh, good news is that I ordered a bunch of freeze-dried snacks to try on stream. Um... Okay, day 19. Okay, so we need to eat today, because it's an odd day, right? So we need to eat. Uh, one, two, three. Three of these. They just got here, so I didn't hear? Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Okay, buddy, you're going to have to wait a second. My cook is cooking. Yeah, just chill out, just chill out, brah. Oh, well, you want to live here? Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, bud. I have no home left. Maybe I could stay with you. Stay with you here? Okay, let me talk to this guy. We got Anton. Good day. My name's Anton. Forgive me for this intrusion. You see, I'm not so young anymore, and frankly, I don't think I can survive this war on my own. Would you be so kind as to let me stay with you? I promise I'll work to... Earn my keep. Hmm. Uh, if I remember correctly, he doesn't have any useful skills, sadly. He's just a body, huh? Just someone, someone, a, an able body person. All right. Sure. Why not? Good decision. Just tell me what to do. All right, well. Are you hungry? New friend? No, but you are sick. Okay, well, that adds a little bit of a wrinkle. But if you're not hungry, then, then we're good. You can wait till the next rotation. So you have uh, no skills, eh? Let's see. Good mathematician. Interesting. I've been running into either insufferable rubes or outright criminals, but I feel that you're different. And for this, for a scientist with an established position like me, the company of people of comparable mental capacity is paramount. Besides, ah, bloody heck, I can't stand faking anymore. I'm just an old fart who knows nothing. I'm so grateful for your company. I've been out there for out there alone for uh, for too long way too long all right so yeah apparently he has nothing going on absentine absentant absent absent it's an absentine he's a good mathematician i don't know what that means all right well i guess it's fine that you have no skills no skills to which to pay the bills or anything else for that matter there are some theories that could wait what there's some there were some theories that he could do traps better, but I didn't notice any difference. Wiki also mentioned that theory and says it's, it is false. But that wiki isn't 100% reliable. That's true. This is true. He could do traps more efficiently? What does that mean? By the way, I'm going to lay down. Like he... What do you mean he can do traps... Do traps better. What does that mean? Yeah, 
I don't think there was any upgrades on the house we needed, right? Oh, I forgot we have an armchair. I forgot we have an armchair. I mean, there's an upgraded door, which we don't really need because we have a uh, army guy. We have the upgraded heater already. I don't know. The traps catch rats faster in, is the theory, so long as he sets them. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. All right. Um, I don't know. Come sit down. You two just go sit down, I guess. Like, I don't know what we need to do right now. Oh, oh let me listen to the radio. Let's see. Cigarettes and tobacco are available in Pong. Once more, how this exactly came about remains a mystery. Okay, it looks like that's when we had before. Oh, it's, it will get much colder. Snowfall is expected in southeast Gran, Gran Zanavia. Let's give a warm hug to the people of Pogrom. Okay. Famine and disease reign over the rare city of Pogrom. Death takes heavy toll due with no access to food, clean water, and medical supplies. Oh, that's what it was. I'm like, I remember there being something that caused all the prices of stuff to go up, and that's what it was. Other than cigarettes, presumably. Now, do we think there's a one-to-one, -one, that cigarettes are easier to get a hold of, and everyone suddenly started getting very sick in the lungs? Oh, but yeah, Ica, so Sunday stream, like I said, pushed to Monday, um, probably a three, and then, um, um, yeah, freeze-dried snacks. I, I saw what you you got with your freeze dried stuff. I'm like, I really want to try that. So I ordered a couple of different things: peeps and a, a special flavor that I will explain later when they show up. Um, I got some pride, pr pride support, um, frozen fruit biters or whatever they called them. Uh, then I got uh, what was the other one? Um, French toffee, strawberry, and uh, watermelon water, watermelon gummies, all freeze dried. So we'll be trying those on on stream. All right, so we got to. <laughs> we're lucky it's not cold in here. Well, you would be shocked about how that's about to change, friend. Um, I guess the other thing, like, we have saws. The problem is, is that what the brothel doesn't trade. Dra trade parts. So we have to figure out where we can go. I think that was the problem is we're kind of out of places to go and trade with stuff. Since most of the map is blocked off due to the fighting. Hmm. But other than that, I don't really know what we need to do. Because the house is upgraded. The stuff we need is upgraded. I mean, I guess we could do, like, fuel, but... I don't really need fuel. I don't know. It's kind of coming down to right now, just figuring out, like, where I can go to get supplies. If they opened up their other locations, I mean, I could go to, like, the the hospital. Or no, the hospital, I think, is available, right? I think it was the church isn't available. I think there's one of, like, the sniper places that isn't available. I think we cleaned out the, the grocery store before it became unavailable. could also axe up places. So that's true. I guess we could take an axe with us and axe up some places. So I think there's one of the houses, like the abandoned villa or something. I mean, I know we were talking about going back into the abandoned villa because there was there was that one section we had to get into with a saw, I think. 
that probably had a bunch of gun parts in it that we never decided to go to. So, I mean, we could go do that, I guess. Problem we're having right now is components, though. Components and sort of wood. We're, we're pretty ahead on wood, but not ahead enough. Oh, Anton might have 12 slots. Really? Oh, okay. I don't know if there's a way for me to check that, but no. <laughs> Well, we won't find out until, I guess, after the, after tonight, or, or till tonight. It's funny that the old man who isn't apparently good at anything and is just kind of worn out and sick is apparently going to be our best runner? What? Um, let me throw a, let me throw a yield, uh, log on the fire to get the temperature up. At least it's warm. There we go. Oh my god, look at how much warmer the house is. 71 degrees Fahrenheit? That's perfect. Never mind, 8? Oh my god, it's even worse? Yeah, it's 8. He's useless, so he's just the bad one, eh? Is that what the problem is? Jeez. Okay, you sleep in a bed. You're on scavenger duty. You two sleep in a bed, you're on guard, and she's gonna go scavenge. Okay, what do we got right now? Um, so, like food, but meds will be on the Okay. So we got that. We've been to the brothel, and the brothel's basically cleaned out of everything that isn't trading. And thugs, I might find something useful there if we can sneak in, but it's very dangerous. This is the homeless thing. We've cleaned this out. Uh, four journalists who have been saying there's someone moved in there recently and spread news that they're willing to barter. Now he's willing to trade, but he trades at a horrific di like disadvantage. See the hospital we've gone to and collected all the free stuff. The only other thing we could do there is rob people. Um, and then there's the quiet house, which is just straight up robbing people. So I guess we could take Med's huge amount of weapons some parts. I guess we could take a, a, a saw with us and just break into this place. We could take a saw and a hatchet and see if we need to like break into this place and like just start breaking down wood and stuff. Because unfortunately like this place, um, like all of these ones, like the military outpost could be useful right now. St. Mary's Church could be really useful right now. Um, technically the sniper junction or construction site could both be interesting. Um, I really wish we had this though. This is the one that could be really useful because we could actually trade with them for stuff. Uh, right now we're kind of surviving off of Franco showing up and having components for us to buy. But, uh, I guess we'll just go here and try to get the gun parts and stuff. Oh, we still have all these bandages, too. I didn't think about that. We could take this to the hospital and potentially trade up a little bit of stuff at the hospital, but... Okay, we're taking one of these and one of these. I mean, luckily, we're ahead in everything other than, like, food, right? Like, we still have one filter. Turn the water in That'll give us four more water. Um... Yeah, I mean, we've, we're, we're pretty good on everything. It's just, how long can we survive like this? Like, we have to kind of count on Franco right now to have components for us. All right, but we'll take this stuff, and we'll go to this place, and uh, we'll break into that area up on the top, get all the gun parts and stuff, and then break down any kind of wood things that are here. But this is super desperate that we're breaking down wood wood stuff. Oh. Did I leave something in here? Oh, I did. There's a there's a broken gun in there. What? I didn't remember leaving that in there. Oh, I left some stuff in this cabinet, apparently, also. Oh, well, I mean, I can trade that, I guess. Um... I left more stuff here than I remembered. What's in the fridge? Oh. 
I mean, that's not super useful per se, but it's not not useful. Oh, yeah, there's a lot more stuff here than I realized. What? That's weird. Huh. Okay. Well, here's what we're going to do first. Well, I need the saw, but I'm just going to put all this stuff into this one area for now. I did not realize we left this much stuff behind. Wait. Oh, okay. Wait, wasn't this... Wait, am I forgetting something? I swear there was like one of these rooms that was... Barred off or something. This one was locked and not barred. Okay, but either way, I just ran right through it. That's odd. I must have been locked at a previous time I was here. I don't remember doing that. As making a lot of noise. Now, what do we get from this? Okay. You locked it previously, couldn't remember until you came back. Oh, I guess. Huh. Okay. All right, so we have a lot of stuff we can trade here if Franco shows up. Or if we don't mind losing a bunch of it, like the tobacco and stuff, to that guy in the apartment complex, but... Okay. Actually, we'll just take the wood with us. We'll just condense everything down into this one cabinet. Um, what do we want to take back with us? Like, probably want to take the wood, the gun part. I mean, this is going to be useful. Oh, this is medication. So that, that'll be useful for, uh, what, Anton. Uh, did you get the wood wardrobe in the basement axe suit? No, not yet. I'm just trying to figure out what I've got and what I kind of want to take with me. We have the fertilizer. We can take that with us for the rat traps. That's important. Um, sugar is good for a trade. Okay. So, yeah, we actually have quite a bit of stuff left here. This, like, this might run out our hatchet. No? No, not yet. Okay. Alright, so we'll have plenty of wood and um, fuel now. That's for sure. So yeah, it just kind of comes down to what do we want to take back with us. I mean, the fuel is probably the most efficient thing since we don't really need wood and we have so much wood back at home. And we're going to be using that more than, I guess, anything else of kind of what's here. I thought for sure we left this um, with, a, with bars on it, but I guess not. I must be thinking of a different location. Hmm. Okay. All right, so... What do we want to take back with us? Like, all the fuel will work if we're cooking food and stuff. So, like, we take the fuel back. Because we're not really worried about building anything right now, so the wood can stay here. Like, I don't really need these. The gun can come because we can trade it. Same with the bullet parts. The bullets will sell okay. This is like the most valuable stuff. We wanted the fertilizer. Quality roll up. Herbs. Coffee. I mean, we don't have any coffee drinkers, right? 
So we could keep that around. And then this is just homegrown tobacco, so they won't smoke that. Whereas the rolled up cigarettes, they're just going to smoke. Sugar's for trading, or this is for trading. Or we can bring the gun part back. Uh, I guess we'll bring the weapon part back. That way we make a saw out of it. But yeah, I mean, we could make another run here, and in theory, get pick up the rest of this stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then, like, ten, I guess? That way we get all of the trading components and then just have a bunch of wood and fuel still here. That kind of makes sense to me. Yeah, that's probably fine. We could probably make another run here and just... We got to wait on Franco or one of these other trading places to open up so we can, uh, you know, trade. Oh, I can't go into this backyard. Look at all this. You can't break up any of this with a hatchet? Really? Are we sure? Are we double, triple sure? All right. Well, let's head back. And luckily, as long as she's bringing stuff back, I feel like morale, even though I don't, I know it doesn't matter. It feels like it should a little bit. Her coming back with a bunch of stuff, I feel like would at least help with morale. Day 20. I got the medicine. I hope it'll help. Well, I mean, what's-his-face is sick, so probably? Ah, we were raided. Uh, nothing but not everyone. None of us were wounded, and the attackers didn't steal anything. We were able to defend ourselves. Okay, cool. Uh, Roman, uh, Roman gave him the old, ye old, um, John Wicking, and, uh, nothing happened. Wow, this turned over in a day? Okay, wait. Oh my god, they both turned over in a day. Excuse me, what? Okay, Anton, get down here. Your stomach's rubbling? That sucks, bud. We'll worry about that tomorrow. Tomorrow's food day, everyone. Don't forget. All right, Anton. Uh, make me proud, bud. And uh, use that fertilizer. Wow, I'm surprised how quickly the, uh, the rats uh, showed up. I just don't understand why a good mathematician would have anything to do with rat catching. That seems very silly to me. All right. Um. Oh, you can go to bed. Hey, you can go sit down in the, the comfy chair. Now, to heal his sickness, we have to give him meds, correct? Not just uh, the simple meds or whatever. Not like these ones. Feeling lousy, and it's getting worse. It's fine. It's fine, Anton. Don't worry about it. All right. It's unfortunate that he showed up so late. Otherwise, we could, uh... You could technically heal it by keeping it warm and keeping him in bed. Ah, uh, okay. Wow, it's 50 degrees? Oh, my God. All right, yeah, let's go... Let's go light a fire. Keep the place a little warm. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, God, who are you? No, you don't have the right sleeves. Hey, bud, you don't have the right sleeves. What do you want? I'll have Roman come in here and put you in some sort of maneuver. It's me again. Sorry to disturb you, but I'm terrified. Okay. What's the problem? It's me again. Yesterday, I saw a band of shady-looking types watching my house. I'm so scared. They might try to rob us or worse. I have a teenage daughter. Can you please protect us for a night or two? You can use my husband's sh hunting shotgun. <laughs> All right, I guess so. <laughs> do we send sick Anton to do this, or do we do we send a uh, 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 chef guy here? Oh God, <laughs> this sick old man sitting in a chair in front of the door with a loaded double barrel shotgun. Just <sighs> okay. Sure, do you have the pneumonia? Just uh, waiting here up all night with the pneumonia. They'll recognize him from TV. Yes, exactly. All right, Bruno. Yeah. All right, Bruno. Have a nice night, bud. Hanging out with a, a chick and her, her daughter. Having a shotgun. I'm glad we decided to help protect our neighbor and her daughter against bandits. 
Was helping our neighbor necessary? I'm not so sure. Well, no, it's not necessary, but it's the good thing to do. We can't just leave our neighbor in need. She was terrified. I know. That's why we helped her. All right. Um, this, this is not increasing the heat as much as I thought it would. Um, it went up a single degree, which is basically unnoticeably different. Okay, good. Are you... There are no smokes left. Go. This fever, I feel terrible. Go lay down. It takes a bit? Well, I ain't got a bit to wait. Where the, And where is freaking Franco at? I feel like it's been a couple days since we saw the Franco. Since the wandering Franco appeared and treated us to his delicious uh, concoctions. But we do have four bullets now and a teddy bear to trade, so that's good. Um, we got nine fuel. We can go get more fuel. 26 wood. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we really just need components. Components or uh, vegetables? I mean, we've got, what, eight saws? Yeah, we got eight saws to trade for, for components. Uh, for components and, um, and vegetables or food. I would prefer the vegetables just because they're more efficient on water and then I don't have to worry about water as much, but. All right, just come sit down. I don't know. I mean, Erica's content. Hungry, but content. Okay, this stove is not putting in the work like I was hoping. Let's listen to the radio. For this night, might need three. Ah, all right. Get much colder. Classic. So we're going to tobacco are available again. Damn it, a disease rain. Uh, music boy. All right. Yeah, nothing going on. You let Grandpa sleep. Roman can sit in the comfy chair, and uh, Erica can sit in the the regular chair. How did it go back down? <laughs> did we bug out the furnace? <laughs> it went back down. <laughs> what? Um, all right. Also, was there just flashing light in the in the basement? Why? Wait, there's like random flashing lights. Is the house also haunted? Is that what they're not telling us? Is this house also haunted? Okay, now I want a mod. I want a mod where you live in a normal house. Like it's not wartime or anything. You just live in a small town, but the house is super haunted. So it's always having to deal with all the random stuff happening in the house. Well, it's a good I guess it's a good thing we know where to go and get a bunch of like supplies and wood It's really chilly inside. We should think about heating. All right. I know I know we we put one fuel in the fire Apparently that wasn't enough Two is two enough Okay, it's starting to go up a little bit now we got to get it back into that the high 60 range if we can. Or it'll stall out at 57 after we put in two. So of course it will. And then Bruno's over there hanging out with a mom and daughter and a, and a shotgun. Who doesn't want to spend a lonely cold night snuggling a shotgun, eh? You know? You know what I mean? Ica, you know what I mean, right? You probably got a shotgun or two. You snuggle every night. You 
crazy can Kanzanian. <sighs> okay, we need one more. Put one more fuel in the fire, bud. I hope that's enough. It's three fuel we, we just wasted there. You're on guard duty. You can sleep in the bed. And you can scavenge. We're going back to the abandoned cottage. I mean, I guess we could eventually go back to the shelled school and start breaking down stuff there if we have to. Because there was lots of stuff to go and, like, break down. There was just not a lot of stuff left that we hadn't taken. But, yeah. Hungry but content. Hungry and hungry but and sick. All right. Prepare. <sighs> Abandoned cottage. Here we go. Um, we broke everything down, so we're just bringing things back. So we don't really need to take anything with us. So scavenge. Scavenge. It's annoying that the only one we got, the only new person we got is absolutely useless. Literally showed up sick and with no available skills. Can I have like... Can Roman train him? Can we just have Roman train him? Please? Since we're burning so much fuel now, which annoys me. Oh, odd that they put the sugar in front of this. Usually, it, whatever you click on stacks into the back. Odd. Um. Let's take some wood, since we need so much stupid fuel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we literally have the reason to come back here one more time. And then this place is completely and thoroughly cleaned out. I really hope something breaks loose here so we can start going to other places again. Because basically next week, like, if... if What's his face doesn't show up? We might have to go back to the brothel and see what we can get from the brothel. And with, you know, apparently the th the third horse horseman of the apocalypse upon us right now, plague. Um yeah, it's not looking so so hot, team. Oh, good. Uh Bruno's back. Glad I have this book. Bruno is back. He helped to protect our neighbors against the thugs and brought back some gun ammo. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, we can trade that, I guess. Okay, go sit down. Um, ooh, it was nice and warm in here. Oh, we still have two fuel left. Dang, this rat trap went off again? Really? Wow. All right, you come down here and just cook us some food. Everyone's hungry now. Uh, I guess we're making four tonight. All right. Just sit down. But at least it's still warm in here. And we have various types of meds. Oh, I guess you can come up here and eat. sit down. Well, actually, go oh, here. Go sit down. Go sit down in this chair. Okay. You can go back sit down in this chair. Just gotta wait for these other two to get up, and hopefully uh, uh, Franco shows up. But everyone should be happy with this temperature. Surprised there's this much fuel left. I figured we would have burned through it all in the night, but. This rat trap, though, has been kind of working for us. It's like two days in a row that it's it's gone off and we need to refill it, so. It's paying out just slowly. I 
I mean, we're literally at the point now. We just need Franco to show up so I can get components. I mean, we've got three saws worth of stuff to build. Um, we got the broken meds to sell. All the gun ammo or the, the ammo parts to sell. A broken gun to sell. All these bullets and teddy bears. We can basically get rid of... Oh, I forgot we have these cigarettes. We need to get rid of those as soon as possible. I guess we could take those to the brothel and see if we could trade them at the brothel. Because otherwise, they're just all three of these people are going to smoke them. Um, let's see. Is there anything... Come on, Franco. And Franco. No. Psh, psh, psh. Um, I guess we don't have a, a, a herbal workshop, do we? So that wouldn't do me any good anyway. All right, just go sit back. Just go sit it back down. Come on, Franco. Franco, where are you? What did Franco? Is, is there a way for does Franco die at some point? Is there a? a do I have to roll? Did I roll a natural one and does Franco die? Is that a thing? All rested. Nice. Go sit down. Uh, eat. Go. Go get in bed. If it is, it's a bug I've never seen before. Oh, so something that completely could happen to me literally at any moment, you mean? Yes, got it. Thank you for <laughs> actively not... <laughs> Thank you for not actively being able to uh, per, or, uh, assuade my fears. <sighs> oh yeah, there's someone at the door. S scrolls screen and they're just like, fine, I don't want to live here anyway. I can't believe how many weird, mo weird bugs we found with this. At least it's still warm. And there's still too fuel in the in the thing. Uh, temperature's going back down. Oh god. I'm guessing Anton took up Franco's trading visit. Anton. Oh, that would make sense. I get what you're I'm what you mean. Maybe. Is that a thing? Is that how that works? You can only get like one visitor a day? And it's since Anton showed up, it caused it Franco to not show up. I mean, at least as it is right now, we still have we still have two rotations of food. That's four days. That'll get us up to the twenty fifth. I think also because the neighbor came too. I mean, maybe. We just got incredibly unlucky that we had two events happen on top of each other that ate my, our Franco visit. Had many two events going on, those overwrote Franco, maybe. Maybe Franco doesn't like to show up when, you know, other people are here. So he's like, well, you know, there's someone else is there. I don't want to bug them, you know. Then everyone wants me to come and trade with them. You know, he's shy. Franco's really shy. I guess we just, hmm. I guess I'll throw another fuel on the fire and see if Anton can recover naturally from being sick. I mean, we're letting him sleep at night and as soon as a bed opens up, he's sleeping during the day too. I don't really have him doing anything. He should be getting lots of recovery time. Oh, no, 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 stay in bed, you idiot. Yeah, just come down here, I guess, and, uh... Throw another fuel on the fire. I'm gonna keep the temperature up. Oh, well, manage to keep it warm in here. I'm working on it, yes. But yeah, we go back to the abandoned villa. One more time, and then after that, it's back to the apartment complex. 
Oh, it opened everything up. Yes, let's go. I forgot to check the radio though, because I'm an idiot. All right. Guard duty, sleep and sleep, and you're on guard duty. There we go. We can go to the church and trade church stuff for church things. Only that our house don't have a lot of stuff to barter, even food and meds. Let's remember to take something to trade if we're going to pay them a visit. Oh, we can trade with them also. Though there is danger there, which is concerning. And we haven't visited the military outpost. We could go there and at least get some free stuff. Ooh, wow. Okay, so we probably go here. I'm gonna go here. Fergus has no time to waste. If someone else is in the way of his trading route, he skips it. Gotta get get maximum stonks. Yeah. Alright, so we'll go here and we'll take the we'll take the saws with us. Since it looks like possible trade and danger, though. I don't know what this means. I'm a little concerned about the danger aspect of this. But we'll go here. And we'll take um, the cigarettes with us. So we can get rid of those. Because otherwise they're going to smoke them. Uh, cigarettes and we'll take some saws. He's on his hustle? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> we'll take like four... Well, we'll take... F oh, it's a different stack. Okay, we'll take four saws. And the, the rolls of cigarettes. Um, and we'll take a teddy bear. We'll take this stuff and we'll go trade and see if we can't get components or vegetables and or food. That's and or water filters. If we get water filters, that would be really good. Also. Oh, flop, floppity penguin, welcome. Take away Ika's, Ika's teddy bear. I mean, we're about to go trade it for water, so. He'll be, he'll, he'll be hydrated, but not happy about it. But welcome, uh, uh, Floppity Penguin. How are you doing? You having a good day? How are you liking the new Resident Evil 4? Are you enjoying it? I know I've seen you've been, uh, you've been posting over on the, uh, your, your Discord that you've, uh, you've been streaming that. Um, but yeah, let's go trade. Let's go trade and see what happens. Shall we? All right. This is the part where the shots were coming from. I'd better be careful. Wait, what? I thought <laughs> I thought this was friendly trading. It's good. Harder than I thought it'd be. Yeah, I've heard that they added some pretty interesting stuff. Um, like with the, the pairing system and all that. It's pretty curious. Um, how do you like it compared to the original? I mean, for the most part, other than maybe Resident Evil uh, 3 Remake, I know most people really like the the um, uh, the other two. Is this one as good as those other two or the, like, the other remakes have been? Oh, free gun parts. Okay, well, this is open, but it's blocked from the other side. Okay, we got a rat. The crude letter on the wall reads, Hana Thomas and, and me moved in with Uncle R Radu. We buried Mom in the yard. Take care, Daddy. Petra. No. It's definitely the definitive version of RE4. It's been appro appro approved in numerous ways. However, it feels better to play than the original. Oh, okay. I've been playing remake on stream and original off. Ah. So you have kind of a, a running comparison. That's pretty cool. Yeah, when, when I get around to Resident Evil 4, I don't know when that'll be. Uh, since we played 1, 2, and 3 now. And 0. Um, I'll, I'll remember it fondly before I tried 4. Improved, yeah. Distracted at the moment? No, no problem. Do you have a, a preference of which one you'd like to see them remaster next? Would you rather have them do like Resident Evil 5 or would you have them rather have them redo like Code Veronica X? Because I know a lot of people are concerned about some of the um, maybe not so good parts of Resident Evil 5, a.k.a. the racism. But <laughs> um, so a lot of people are talking about they probably shouldn't remake 5 and 6 just because. 
I'd prefer five. Five is still probably my favorite. Oh, okay. That's fair. I mean, I've heard that the actual play of it is good, but there's obviously some problematic stuff with the setting and stuff. I wouldn't change anything about five. Okay, fair, fair. I mean, I, I don't know. It. I understand what people say that there is some really ish, like racial stuff with it, given that it's set in Africa and um, it's set in Africa and you end up act interacting with like tribal people which in in itself isn't inherently racist because i mean tribal people exist in africa it's just you're starting to get a little weird when a, a japanese company is um representing african tribesmen in a module where you have to shoot them a lot <laughs> right i mean it helps that your your partner is is uh local the whole situation with being racist is bunk. It's not racist when you're in Spain as a white guy attacking Spanish folks. Why is it racist in Africa? That's ridiculous. Right, right. I get what you're saying. Okay. Are we actually actively trading? Or are you going to, like, mu like mug me? Oh, no. You seem to actually want to trade. Okay. Well. No, stop. I don't care about my car's extended warranty. All right, do you have... Oh, good. You have lots of components and water filters. Let's go. Okay, how much of this? Hold on. I'm willing to give you this and this and this. Um, More to the point, Shiva is my favorite RE character, and, and it's her only module. Yeah, yeah. I mean, unfortunately, if that is your favorite character, yeah. They don't have much of her and the rest of it, unfortunately. Favorite female or Ari character? Ah, well, that's fair, too. Was that a gunshot? Did we just hear a gunshot in the distance? What just happened? Uh, concern? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 22. 22 components. Okay, I mean, that's, that's a pretty good get, actually. Given that that's what we're so low on. Um, I mean, he doesn't have any food or vegetables. We have medication. We don't care about coffee. And we have canned food back at the house. I don't, I'm not worried about this. I don't need sugar. And we have plenty of lumber back at the house. And I don't care about bullets. So I think we're good. Oh, it's not going to fit my inventory, though, is it? Hold on. Hold on. We can go and just drop some of this stuff off. And then I'll come back for it. Uh, I just need a storage spot. Oh, it's locked. Oh, that's not what I expected. Okay, wait. Check this one. It's basically a criminal that they never use Shiva again. Yeah, I mean, they, they took a lot of, of different turns going forward. So, kind of the problem with it is that... Uh, since they went in a different direction... And everyone kind of... It got such weird reviews that I can understand why they didn't, like, go in that direction more. And then they make a whole left turn with Resident Evil uh, 7 and then Village, where they're doing a whole arc of a different character. So the chances of seeing returning people are, is, are low. I mean, they could have done something with her in 6. Did, they, did she show up in 6 at all? That would have been the next place for me. I, I would think logically she would show up for me. Okay, I think, I think I need to leave that here. The bear can come with me, but the rest of it. She wasn't in six? Oh. Because that was the one that was like all of the different characters from different modules all kind of came together, right? So you had, they had Helena and Sherry. Right, I remember Sherry showing back up. I don't remember who Helena is, though. And then doesn't, um, doesn't Rebecca show up as a side character? You can't play as her, but doesn't she show up in like... Have some story stuff going on in the sixth one. Helena is from Leon's campaign. Oh, that's the, the, yeah, the other Secret Service woman who, like, worked with the president or whatever. I do remember them, I do remember in the demo I played for Resident Evil 6, like, seeing her around. I didn't realize that who, who she was, though. All right. Um, so, yeah, we'll leave that there. We go trade for all the components we need. And then, 
Um, we need a lock pick for that. Which I don't have, but it's okay. She's boring. She wasn't better than Shiva. Well, I don't know. I haven't I haven't played six. Just the demo, the little bit of a de demo I played. Okay, so we trade this and this. Hmm. What are we? Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to remember now. So one of these, I think one of these was worth seven. Okay, so he's actually giving us a pretty fair deal. If this is worth seven and he's he's only doing six, that's only a slight markup. That's pretty reasonable, actually. So he's not taking us to the cleaners too hard on that. Um. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so... Oh, he'll trade a saw for a filter straight up. Interesting. Hmm. What, what did you think of the, uh, like, enhanced action of, of Resident Evil 6? Because they added a lot of, um... Oh, wow. That was... Okay. Uh, but yeah, you... Uh, they added a lot of, like, really over-the-top action-y stuff. Like, the falling prone and crawling around on the ground stuff. A lot of the characters start with, like, assault rifles or their stories take place while they have assault rifles and stuff. Do you think they went too hard into the action, or...? You didn't like it at all. Okay, so you didn't like it. Yeah, so that's not your thing at all. All right. Okay. So we just give him this. And this. Actually, we could... Can we keep the candy bear? Let me see. If I pull this out, we take these. Let's take a bunch of this. RE5's level of campy was fine for a campy RE. Well, yeah, yeah. It was an awful module. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what that was the general response, I think, all over the place, is is that Resident Evil 6 was just bad up and down. Um, I mean, I, that's probably what triggered them to have to redo 7, right? Like, take a totally different tr approach to 7 and kind of restart the franchise. I think my favorite take on, on Resident Evil 6 was um, that the cover looks like a, a man filleting giraffe. And I heard that a lot from, from kind of the internet of man filleting giraffe is the cover the cover number. I thought was very funny. Which I guess I can kind of see. Okay, so we'll trade these three. We'll have two things left. Oh, I didn't give them all the cigarettes. That's what's missing. Really? That got me... Wait, all those cigarettes only got me... Wait, what? Hold on, that doesn't seem correct. Wow. The roll-up cigarette only gets me a component? Really? Okay, now that seems like we're taking that at a loss. They're only worth one each. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're taking them at, at even. Huh. People weren't ban bandwagging it was a truly bad module. Yeah. No, I believe I believe people. I've watched some people play through sections of it here or there. And it definitely looks not like Resident Evil. It, it looks like a bad action-y thing from, like, the PS2 era. But with, with better graphics. Like, if you were playing... Oh, what was it called? Um, like... Was I think it was Winback or something like that. It was this weird kind of bad first-person, well, third-person shootery thing from, I think, like the N64 where you played like a generic soldier running around trying to save the president inside of a like a uh, military base or something. And it just kind of looked like that, but slightly upgraded. It was, it was really weird. The only thing I liked about it was the fact that I could make Leon... Um, to his running dive into, like, prone position all over the place and, like, onto tables and stuff. So I could just turn it into this over-the-top John Woo doves going everywhere, like, shooting, but with zombies instead of, like, enemy mafiosos or, or Yakuza members or whatever. I like that aspect of it, but outside of that, I don't know. All right, but this will buy us... That's 12 water... 
That's what, 12, 15 components. That'll buy us five, five more saws. And we're only trading three for five more saws. The teddy bear and the roll up kind of don't count. This is probably fine. Do I want to take the components now though? I mean, we get a better deal from Franco on the components. I think we'll just take this now to have some stuff to work on. So when Franco gets back, we'll have more to trade with Franco. But we really, next thing we need to worry about now is just getting more food. Cause like I said, we've only got four days worth of food left. Even with the rat traps kind of paying off faster than usual. Have we heard, we haven't heard anything about what the next Resident Evil is going to be, right? The last thing we got was the, the village DLC. And we haven't heard anything since then, right? Because I know there was talk that the main character of Seven and Village and then his daughter, Rose, that was that was supposed to be a trilogy? Or did they turn that, that DLC into like the third of the trilogy? I wasn't sure how that worked out. I think we'll take this. This will give us enough components to make um, five more saws. Then we can trade at a better advantage to Franco when Franco finally shows up. And then hopefully we'll have some food or vegetables so we can turn the, the, the food and water to make it last longer. But this will buy us 12, which is pretty nice. So he trades some basic stuff, but... So components and wood are going to be probably the most important things from this guy. Oh, I swear not an elk. Welcome. How you doing? Hats off to you. Oh, let's see. What are we hats offing today? Well, we haven't been a fireman in a while. Let's be a fireman. Ugh. We'll be a first responder showing up. Ugh. First responder showing up trying to keep these people alive in a war zone. Makes sense to me. Feels correct. Feels on point. Ugh. All right, let's take this deal. Pleasure doing business with you. You too. You know what? You actually treated us pretty solid. All right, so we still got three carrying compo or spots for this. So, I assume if we go up here, he's not going to be happy with us. So, I'm not going to break into that. We're also kind of quickly running out of of nightlight to, to scavenge by. But how are you doing? Uh, uh, I swear I'm not an elk. Hopefully you're doing okay. Having a good uh, Tuesday evening, I guess. I did almost order some more hats um, today. And the only reason I didn't is I realized that um, I need to try hats on because I have a, a ginormous head. As such, um, I didn't want to order something off the internet that I was going to end up not fitting. Because I was going to order a giant chili pepper hat, which I thought was going to be quite novel and fun. Um, okay, so there's just a fridge in here. But we'll need to come with a lock pick. Um, yeah, I was thinking about getting a, a giant a chili pepper hat, and then I almost ordered a, um, a set of bandanas. Um animal print bandanas or a crowbar oh is that a crowbar one i thought that was only a lockpick one well we have a crowbar we can use so we'll bring a crowbar with us next time i mean there's not much here to come back to scavenge unfortunately unless there's just a lot of food or something in that fridge find plenty of fine stuff what a night we had a new person who tried and didn't try to rip us off. It was great. All right, come sleep. Um, you please come over here. Uh, Roman, please sleep. Um, let's see. You can use a crowbar such lockpick interchangeably. Only difference is lockpick is silent and single use while crowbar is loud and multi-use. Oh. Oh, the rat trap went off. Nice. Oh, wait, 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 no, no, no. Anton, this is literally your only job is to come check these rat traps. This is Anton's job. 
you see. Oh, uh, actually, come down here. You? No, no, no. I feel weak. I have to sit down. I know you do. I'm fine with that. We're just not doing it yet. Okay. Oh, we actually have enough stuff to make a lockpick if I wanted. But we've already got a crowbar, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, we actually have enough components to make seven more saws. We currently have five. I mean, it does seem like the traps have gone off more now that Anton has showed up. It does, kind of. And even that one time, he's, we had um, Bruno reset the trap, and then the, literally the next day it went off again. So it does seem like they're kind of happening more often, but only one or the other. I don't think it's working on both of them. But even then, I don't know. I don't know enough about how the rat traps work to know if, if, if we're in a boon thanks to uh, Anton or if it's just the way things work. Um, but yeah, you can just make the parts. And then you, Anton, just go have a sit down. Just go have a sit down, bud. Temperature's still solid. We're still up fuel. That's good. So it seems like we're only burning one fuel a day. But we're able to maintain the, the heat pretty good with, like, the extra wood in there. So we're, we've committed three. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. It's someone we actually want to talk to. All right. I feel lousy, and it's getting worse. I know you are, bud. It'll be okay. Let me just finish up this other, uh... Let me just have Bruno finish up this thing. Oh, wait. Bio? Hmm. I have a just outside the city and ride a bus to work. One day I was in my restaurant here in Pogan, not really noticing the muted TV showing some scenes of heavy fighting, and suddenly I recognized the location. It was my town. My friend was there. With, with pounding heart, I grabbed my coat and rushed towards the sounds of gunfire. Don't forget to make water. Yeah, we, we need we can make the water. That's true. I mean, we're still ahead on water, but no reason to, you know, fall behind on it. So what's it going to be? We're going to trade, jerk face. That's how it's going to be. Oh, he's got food and vegetables. Let's go. Gun parts. Oh, what a day to be alive. Two filters. Oh, we did it, team. It all It's all coming up Millhouse, baby. It's all coming up Millhouse. Yeah, it'll just come become harder to make water if it does not if it does start snowing. Right, right. All right. Okay. Oh, it's all coming up Millhouse today, everybody. We done did it. Okay, I want all this. Yes, I'm willing to try harder. Wait, what? Hold on, what? Are these bullets worth more than I was thinking? <laughs> no, okay, those bullets might be worth more than I was thinking they were. Okay, so we take... Okay, we got that. We got the filters. We got the food. So the other thing we really need, we could get some gun parts from him. And then I guess we just load it up with components. Wolves are worth three components, if I remember correctly. Oh, all right. Maybe that's what it is. All right, cool. Calm down. Fine, we have a deal. Okay. Okay. So, wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. I'm going to take this one off. Okay, so we traded. Wait. Okay, we're trading six off of that. All right, so... So... We would be losing out on, like, one and a half components for that way. 3.5? Okay. Also have some sugar to trade? Yeah, we have sugar we can trade him too. It's just figuring out, like, what I want the conversion rate to be right now and on what. Okay, I'm not worried about the fuel... We'll do this, and then we'll use sugar as the, the medium. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm doing that backwards. Okay. Okay, so two sugar. Okay, we're probably better here. 
That was two. We gave up two components for a sugar. Then we could trade the next the next batch of sugar and just buy the rest of his components for the rest of the sugar. And in theory, the bullets if we wanted to. Or the broken gun. Technically, we also have, you know, five more saws. All right. This is looking really good. This is looking really good for us. Franco showed up with exactly the stuff we needed for this one. Good job, Franco. All right. Um. Okay, yeah. If I add one more, no deal, right? Okay. So we'll take this deal. Yeah, run is going very well. We got, we've gotten so much luckier with this run. All right, we trade this. We're not done yet. <laughs> Don't leave. We ain't done. <laughs> not if I can help it. We ain't done yet. Okay. What can I give you for it? How about this? How about all this delicious, delicious sugar? How, how do you feel about all this sugar? Okay. So four sugar... Four sugar. Okay, wait. Okay, that's too much. Trade the sugar for insulin? <laughs> well, we don't have any diabetics, so we don't need insulin. Second of all, I don't think we can get insulin anywhere. It's not really how this works. Oh, we also have that book we could trade. I'm trying to think what else we're going to need to try to get through the rest of this. I mean, trading him wood isn't the worst thing. Just because wood is so heavy... I mean, we're up on wood. Hmm. Not yet, you don't. But with all that sugar, it's only a matter of time. We're not eating just sugar. In fact, we're getting rid of all of our sugar. Franco's the one who needs to be buying insulin. He's the one taking all the sugar from us. No, we're eating nothing but, but stew, basically, day after day. If anything, we need to trade for some veggies is the problem. We're gonna, we're doing a we're doing a, a, a what do they call it um, like a paleo diet where it's all protein and very little carbs. Raw <laughs> rat stew, yum, it's delicious. I don't know about that, but I mean I don't know what kind of meat I'm buy I got from Franco right right now, but it's if, if it's edible meat, that's all we're worried about. Oh, it's twelve of them, perfect. So that'll buy us a whole. Uh, what is that? Another whole rotation. So that's another two days worth, basically. Plus, this will help with water. Yes. If you don't have... Oh, he doesn't have any fertilizer. All right. Yeah, I think I just take this trade. That'll clear out the sugar, unfortunately. But we'll still have a lot of bullets or shell casings left. We still have uh, another book. We can get rid of a book. We can get rid of the shell casings and the and the gunpowder. Uh, this broken guitar, which trades for ten. Um, we still have five saws with another, I think, three waiting, and then uh, another three we can probably make on top of that. So that's another six. So we'll have eleven saws by the time we're done with it. We got four days worth of food, or a uh, uh, four four trips worth of food, right? So should be good. I think we'll be good. I imagine like a rabbit since they're in the same family or something. I th are rabbits considered a, a um, I guess rabbits are technically in the same category as a rat. Though I feel like I'm more, I'd rather eat a rabbit than a rat. I think I just have jerked it or maybe cured to hide under other flavors. Yeah. I can't imagine a rat has a, a good flavor to it considering how all the gross stuff they eat. I'd say keep the book just because it can be turned into fuel and have a few makes them happier oh okay if there's a if there's a bonus to having more books then i'll keep the book but but yeah so we still have shell casings and gunpowder to trade the guitar and the broken gun um some of these what is the med ingredients we could trade not a big deal um and we have the all the tobacco the tobacco and coffee and the uh herbs herbs to trade so we still have some other stuff to trade. Turn the books into weapons with words as your as your bullets. Kill them with knowledge. Well, I mean, if one of them is like the the beginners and immediate uh, intermediate guide to like Krav Maga, we could actually literally kill them with the things we learned in a book. But 
Or if it's like a giant, like all the, like uh, what do you call it? A, like a full compact, like letters A through L one book encyclopedia from like, I don't know, the last year encyclopedias are made in like 2008 or something, it would be huge. And then we could just like wrap some leather straps around it and swing it around as a big mace and hit them with it. Then we could literally kill them with knowledge. We'd call ourselves the librarians and we'd walk around hitting people with giant books until they're dead. There was a due date on your soul, and I'm calling it in. <laughs> if I were to die to a book, it better be a good one. Not not about to be taken out by Roll Doll. <laughs> I mean, enter the gungeon, you can shoot people with letters and words. That's true. But that's from a gun. That's not from a book. It's different. Now we're just talking about magic. I mean, in that theory, you're like one step away from just being a wizard, right? Because then you're just using a word to cast a spell. And if you describe that your firebolt looks like a flying on fire cue or something when it slams into them, well, you just killed someone with a, with a letter. All right, but this is, I think, the good deal. We'll get the last of that, and then we'll be good for a while. So we'll take this deal. All right. Yeah, we're good. Thanks, bud. I'm going to go back down here and finish uh, making the rest of my saws and then start making other saws. Um, if you want to come over here and start, like, all the rainwater. Now, the gun for that one is just the letter R. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, you're also shooting them with a letter, with projectile letters. Oh, okay. I mean, okay, then, I swear to God, Elk, what's your preferred book to, to be killed by? Do you have a preference? Oh, sweet. You can go sleep. You go sleep, and you go sit on the, on the, on the the chair Stephen King is a decent way to go but so help me if I get bludgeoned by a Bible I will be furious <laughs> you'll have a word to, <laughs> you'll have words with God when you get up there because you were killed by a Bible look what your people did with your holy book it's not how I wanted to go out I specifically stated I only wanted to be killed with uh, the third Harry Potter book. Not the not the second, not the fourth. I wanted the third Harry Potter book. What don't you people understand? Fuel supplies going? Yeah, I think we're okay on fuel supplies. Let's see. Yeah, we're still at eight. We're still at eight fuel supply. Um, and we still have some pre pretty good wood. 28 wood. We still have one trip back to uh, the abandoned villa where we still have, I think, a bunch of wood and a couple, a little bit of fuel left and like some of the electronic components, the electronic parts, I think, are still back there. So we still have at least one more night of being able to go back there and get and get that stuff. Plus, if we take like two hatchets over to the um, the whatever we went to last night, I'm sure there's some stuff we could break down. Not to mention the uh, homeless encampment where we could also go to get probably uh, more wood and, and fuel. So I think fuel, uh, wood and fuel wise, I think we're doing okay. I do need to listen to the radio though because I forgot to do that yesterday. Uh, it will get much colder, yep. Some of our listeners report that the military has been com committing acts of violence towards civilians. The spokesman for the military denies. All right, so we're not going to the, the military uh, stronghold. Imagine stealing from the homeless as if they don't have enough to deal with. Well, I mean, to be fair, they're homeless because of the same reason we're homeless. So, but we wouldn't be stealing from the homeless. We'd be stealing from the destroyed buildings that are caught, like, above them. That's like old abandoned cabinets and stuff. Having suffered heavy losses, the military retreated to their previous positions and resumed the strategy of avoiding direct confrontation. Movement around the city should once again be possible. Oh. So the military got beat up, and they're like, well, we're going to retreat and let them starve it out. Let's go back to siege mode, everybody. Siege mode. All right. But we do did two little updates. Okay. But yeah, they're homeless for the same reason that we're technically homeless, which is that, you know, the war is on and our homes have all been destroyed. Or in this case, in this guy's case, he got trapped in the city because he was at work and he can't get out. For reasons. Yes, but they seem extra homeless. <laughs> they're double homeless. 
They're they're refugee homeless and regular regular homeless. So they're double homeless right now, unfortunately. But yeah, I wouldn't steal from them directly because we can go in and steal their food if we wanted. But that's not what we would be doing. We would just be breaking down like old destroyed beds and cabinets and stuff and turning it into firewood. Or construction material if we wanted to build something, which I have no reason to build anything, so. Bruno should have just called in his studio's helicopter and taken your whole team out of the city. Yeah, we go uh, dead state, <laughs> dead state finale where we have a mercenary team come in and get us. Somehow that seems worse. Go up to double homeless man and burn his pillow. I'm not taking his pillow. I'm taking a destroyed cabinet from out of the abandoned building next door. It's not like I'm actively kicking him out of his bed to burn his pillow. Which does sound hilarious though. That sounds like something you would do in like homeless simulator. Where you like play as a homeless guy and you can just run around doing all kinds of weird messed up stuff and no one cares. Rip his shirt off his back to make a sling. Yeah. Too bad we've run out of cigarettes. It is too bad we've run out of cigarettes, friend. It is unfortunate we are out of cigarettes. And it's cold today. Even with the fuel, the fire going, we're, we're still down in the, the 50s range. I mean, you can saw into the garden and steal their food. Right, exactly. Right, we could do that, but we're not going to. That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. I'm only taking debris that's just cluttering up the area. It's got nothing to do with, like you know, actually harming them. Like I said, I'm, we're not a bad people. We just, we have low moral compasses. I could be bad people. We're just not. What's not just a mirror campaign if I hear you do that? <laughs> I don't know what that looks like. Do you just start posting all kinds of like anti, anti cell tier propaganda in the company boards and they try to get me fired? That would be actually hilarious. Is it called the smear campaign? Is it entirely, if it is entirely true? Well, I, exactly. Oh, yeah, no, no, Excel tier won't be streaming Sunday. Oh yeah, Sunday, I'm pushing that stream to Monday because it's American, um, it's American Easter. I don't know when everybody else celebrates Easter, but for us Americans, Sunday is Easter. So we're pushing, uh, pushing that stream to uh, Monday. It's also your birthday? Your birthday's on Easter? Oh my God, I think that makes you holy. Are you related to Jesus? How dare you? I live for my puzzles. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. Hello, new Jesus. I mean, that would make sense to me. A double ace uh, person of, of like, uh, mixed heritage? That sounds like a Jesus to me. So I'd probably miss Saturday stream, too. Oh, okay. You're going to be busy with, like, family stuff or whatever on Saturday? I will no longer work Sunday, so I will be present now for all puzzle streams. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Unfortunately, they start kind of late for you. I, I apologize for that, but there's not much I can do. Until something happens and I no longer need to work on Sundays and I can move the stream up, but that, that probably will not be ever. <laughs> I don't know when that would be, but you should suggest some new some puzzles. Yeah, we could do some new puzzles in there. That aren't Abe. Yes, exactly. No no Abe puzzles. It's okay. I'll be present, but sometimes snoozing. Uh, well, that's fair, too. All right. Scavenge. Guard mode. Sleep. And sleep in a bed. So you can hopefully stop being sick all the time. Blasphemer. <laughs> all right. So we went to the semi-detached house to trade, right? I have a lot of stuff to barter. Even food and meds. Let's remember to take something to trade if we're going to pay them a visit. Right. So the ruined villa... We had one more run at the ruined villa to get food, or not food, get, get wood and fuel and I think the electrical parts. And then after that, we were going to go to the shelled school and start breaking stuff down there if we need to. We still have the church to go visit, though. Maybe we go visit the church and see what they're willing to trade. Just so we kind of get an idea of what they've got. Um, Take some saws with us. Saws. I don't think they'd want the medical ingredients. They might trade for, like, coffee, though. We'll take the coffee and the tobacco. Oh, wait. Is this tobacco? Oh, it's homegrown tobacco. This is regular tobacco. Oh. Well, let's take the good stuff. I mean, if we're going to trade with the church, we might as well take the good stuff with us. 
Did you ever play Disco Elysium? I have not. I've watched other people play little parts of it here or there. That's a long one, though. That's a very long module. That would probably end up being like an in-betweener thing. Something that's just whenever I have extra free time, we we play that. Do it? I mean, I would happily play Disco Elysium. It just, it's so long. I guess I could put it down as a, as a Thursday thing, though. I guess we could do it probably on Thursday. Do it, you Abe hater. I don't hate Abe. I just don't love him as much as you do. There's variances of how much people appreciate Abe, and mine is on the lower spec side of the spectrum, you know? You know what I mean? I don't hate Abe. He's a perfectly nice whatever he is. Okay, four and four. Okay, we'll take this to the hospital and see if we can, or the, the ho or the church and see if we can trade this. Plus, we'll have freebies to pick up, which could be, you know, super important. We just have to remember not to go to the, the, uh, the building behind the church because that's where the armed, the bad, the villains are back there, so. All right, let's go to see if we can trade with the church. Hopefully we don't show up and it was, we have been misinformed. It turns out the whole church is, when I was a child, I would come here with my parents. Oh. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but okay, cool. Okay, random gunpowder. Now, one interesting thing that's different is this scaffolding was not here the last time we came to the church. So this is all new. The monstrous train will put some thought into puzzle modules at some point, so I don't have to. Okay, fair. It might be dangerous then. Be careful. Okay. Because they said that the building behind the church is is being lived in by like armed thugs but the church itself was okay did you ever present sub sub superliminal no no i haven't done superliminal i think i've seen someone play some of that's the one where you like pick stuff up and move it and then it changes size i've never played that myself but i've seen other people play it Oh, wait, this guy looks like he's armed with a shotgun. Okay. Yes? Okay. No, no, no. Take the stuff. Okay, what do we think the odds of me being able to get over there and kill that guy is? There's a puzzle module that I suggest and came up with all by myself with no help. <laughs> I'm sure Monster Train would completely agree with you. I completely believe that Howdy Partner would agree that you totally came up with that on your own. Do we think I can sneak over there and take this guy out? I'd say not worth the odds. Okay. Oh, God. As he can figure out some sort of movement pattern he has. I mean, right now he's just standing there menacingly. He's just going through that cabinet. Uh, getting rid of that priest took more than I expected. Okay, so they killed the priest. Oh, I better get going. Okay, cool. Oh, he's going downstairs. Yeah, he's evil. Okay. So there's some supplies we can get down there. Okay, so it looks like he's either guarding this down here or he's going back all the way to this house where they were hanging out. Burgers, I'm disappointed that you haven't raged yet. Oh, I've raged. Are you kidding? I have, I have all but thrown my desk over. If you had a knife, it'd be safer. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've all but thrown my desk over and, and rage at this. I have literally pushed myself away from the desk and had to get up and walk away. I must witness this. Oh, you'd have to go find one of the... I think it would probably be the second episode. I want to say the second episode over on the YouTube probably has me doing that at least once. Having like an all but like wanting... I literally scream and all but like... I like grab my mouse I think at one point and like... Yeah. Link and times. I don't know offhand. I'm in the middle of something. If I'm bored later, I'll try to go find it. All right. I don't think we made any uh, clips of it or anything, though. So, Delio. All right. 
Oh, but uh, f a floppity penguin and I swear I'm not an elk. Uh, how do you both feel about uh, freeze-dried snacks? May need to shorten D&D this week as I will be out all day and likely struggling to stay awake. I mean, if we need to push it, that's actually fine. Um, I've been so busy that I'm having a hard time planning this next segment, so. About what, what, what? Freeze-dried candies and snacks. Yeah. Okay, so this guy isn't coming up here. They had to do that, not clip this. You'd clip me saying F you to an NPC or yelling at Ashley. Ika, how did you not clip this? You'd clip me saying, well, because A, I don't curse, and B, I think Ika gets so enraptured with the stream that he doesn't like clipping. I don't know. I, just, I enjoy watching you suffer more. Never heard of them. What would you want to ever freeze dry? So I'm getting uh, freeze dried uh, fruit fruit poppers. They're they're the uh, uh, what do you call them? Um, um, Skittles. They're the pride the purple pride Skittles that they did a little while ago. I'm getting those freeze dried. Um, I'm getting uh, French toffee strawberry. I'm getting. Um, Watermelon gummies freeze dried, and then I'm getting a special flavor of uh, marshmallow peeps free freeze dried. What module has made me rage the hardest? Tough choice. What? Yeah, uh, Skittles did a, a, a pride. Why are you freezing any of those things? I'm not freezing them, I'm ordering them freeze dried. Apparently, it intensifies the flavor of the food. None of, those <laughs> None of those things require freezing. I understand that. I understand they don't require freezing. I'm just saying that apparently it changes them. I got nothing. I'm so sorry to disappoint. You're not disappointing us. You just only got some, like, gunpowder. It's fine. No? Yeah, Spr uh, Skittles did a thing uh, a little while back um, where they did a pride Skittle that was, like, an, a purple one that was, like, a mixed flavor or something like that. So I ordered that, but freeze-dried. And I really don't know what a freeze-dried uh, freeze um, special flavor uh, marshmallow peep is going to taste like. I think KCD and getting over it nearly ended my life. Don't know which module is it was, but I got so mad it literally told me to take a break. Oh my god. Yeah, getting over it with Bennett Fossey also made me quite upset. If you don't like the regular taste, buy something different. Don't mutilate Skittles. It's <laughs> Look, it's just modifying them and to make them a taste or experience something different. If you don't like the regular taste, no, okay, yeah. Every now and then I still watch the video Horsey made of your getting over it playthrough. <laughs> um Yeah, getting over it with Bennett Fossey sure was a whole thing. I I will not lie. That was a whole thing. Is it just air frying, but more? No, it's the opposite of that. I hated that. It's wonderful. <laughs> no, but it, it's the opposite of that. It's it's freeze dried. Like it like, do you not have astronaut food, like the astronaut ice cream in in England? Air crying. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It's air crying. What? No, you. <laughs> it's. <laughs> you freeze dry it so you suck all the moisture out of it. So it's it's. It's like extra dry and it's meant to be storable so that it doesn't like you can take it into space and it's not messy and stuff, but we don't have a space program. I guess that's fair. I just assumed other places would also get something that's just freeze dried candy. I didn't realize this was an American specialty. It's not like deep fried snicker bars or something. Trump created the space force. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, it's. I mean, I don't want to get political. It's one of the like only things I agreed with him on, but that's something else. Travesty, not specialty. <laughs> Look, I don't know. Ika said they were really good, and I found a store that sells a bunch of them, so I ordered a bunch. All right, everybody? If I don't like them, you'll be the first to know, as I will be eating them live on stream when they show up. So, And deep fried Snickers are actually decent. Okay, so you've got that random, that random nonsense. So you can't get too upset that we're trying new random things. You wouldn't have those if it wasn't for us crazy Americans. What about deep fried elk? Well, I mean, that would be fine because we do not have an active elk in the chat right now. That's a Scottish thing? The deep frying Snickers is a Scottish thing? Really? I have never heard that before. I 
Okay, go sit down, Grandpa. All right. Um. Okay, we got to get some stuff done today. It's cooking day. Everyone gets to eat. Um. Okay. Yeah. Make one of these. Grandpa, you can come over here and uh, make some rainwater, please. Are you having a problem with this? You aren't even an elf. But she does play a druid in a in a in a D and D campaign, so. She at least has ties to the nature. All right, go sit down. You come get your food, Grandpa. But the sour, the sour Skittles were good? Well, I'm hoping the Pride Skittles are also good. I don't know if they're sour or sweet or what. I mean, I almost said... Technically, I almost said something that might be offensive, but not meaning it that way. You're not wrong. I'm absolutely not one of those majestic beings. Exactly. <laughs> With hooves of might and antlers is as alluring as the stars. Have you ever looked up the, I think it's Canadian elks that they, uh, they paint their, their antlers with reflective, reflective, uh, paint and stuff. So basically if a car is driving by, they start glowing. It's okay. I say offensive things all the time when I'm, while I'm live. Yeah, but I try to do my best not to do that. Why is the temperature so low? Ah. Okay, we need two of these. <sighs> but yeah, if you have, have you ever looked up the glowing antlers of like Canada? They say it's paint. It's actually their celestial power showing. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Like, it's a thing to see. Might want to make more fuel. Yeah, we're probably going to need to. Well, that's why I'm trying to keep the freaking house warm. Okay, go eat, please. Okay. Um, No, we make... Wait. No, fuel's in this one? Make fuel out of Ica? No, he would... He's, he's so thin. He would be a terrible fuel source. Kidding? I'm gonna never make a fuel source out of Ica. No, no, no. Oh, God, it's Bruno. Yeah, it's Bruno, the te television chef. Burn him with fire. <laughs> I mean, right now, he's the one who keeps the house clean. So we turned him into, like, a um, a homebody. Oh, wait, wait, go eat. No, go eat. Go eat. You go sit in the chair. Okay, rainwater's almost done. You didn't get along with Bruno then, eh? What was wrong with Bruno. Do you like to not talk about Bruno? Okay. Go make go make the the stuff. Uh, make the rainwater. But yes, I'm excited about the freeze-dried stuff. I'm sorry if you all are not. Okay. I apologize. <laughs> Zane loved Bruno. I can tell. I can tell how much he loved Bruno. Okay, we got three fuel left. Yeah, I guess we can make some out of the wood. Let's do eight, and that way we just have a flat 20 wood, so that way it's kind of easy to remember. Well, I left him to, to just exist at the shelter and cook meals with my while my other survivors were stealing and getting shot, and he got depressed when he didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah. Do people still call babies Roman? What? I don't know what you're referring to, so I guess not? Wait, didn't I just put a fuel in here? Did it burn out already? Oh, maybe I interrupted him before he finished it. There's a character named Roman. Yes, we have Roman with us. He's right here. I wonder if it's still a used name. Oh, like in like modern days? I don't know. I don't know anyone personally named Roman, but... Maybe it's more of an Eastern European thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the characters do seem to get depressed kind of easily. Also, they never seem to recover from being sick, no matter how much I, how well I treat them, which is frustrating. I think in Eastern Europe, that would make sense to me. I was so close to telling him to just leave my shelter. The audacity of this big man child to even consider getting a negative status effect while doing nothing was just too much for me. Yeah. Literally having to do nothing but his job. 
I understand that. Literally just having him do his job and he's getting depressed. Uh, it will get much colder. Snowfall is expected in south southeast. Let me give him a warm hug to the people of Pogrom. Okay, the army boasts over the radio that they destroyed a gang smuggling people out of the city by boat. It was the only way to evacuate those in dire need of medical aid. So let's hope that it's just a bolster as usual. I mean, it sounds like the military here uh, is legitimately pretty bad. So I guess it makes sense that they're having rebel uprisings. When you take in an orphan child of prophecy to mentor, say your name is Roman. Sounds powerful. It's true. A lot of heritage in that uh, in that name. For better and for worse. All right. So everyone ate. Everyone has eaten. Yes. Including Grandpa. Okay. Grandpa has eaten. I had a man with a literal bullet wound and a girl trying to patch him up, but they stayed positive while Bruno the baby got depressed. Ugh. Yeah. In my first one, Bruno was the first one to die of, like, from the starting group. And he died in the middle of the night of his bleed wounds. Even though we had bandaged him up, I think, twice. He just kind of refused to recover. Okay. Make that water. Bruno was my family, my family dog's name. I would have died for him. Well, that's a, a friendly dog. This is a, a, a an over-the-top TV chef. Little a little bit of a different situation. Bruno is my uh, Bruno should be banned from any shelter. <laughs> he was a handsome beast with wrinkly wrinkles aplenty. Ah. Okay, we got twelve of these. Okay, so the church doesn't do us any good. So we learned that. I guess we go back to the abandoned villa and we can just pick up uh, wood and and what's left there. And if we have to, we can go over and um, uh, take down the old abandoned school. And we leave the homeless people's beds and stuff alone. I swear I'm not an elf. Oh, Bruno should be banned. Yeah, come on, do your mod stuff. <laughs> do the timeout. There's, I mean, if he doesn't like Bruno from this module, you, you can't do it too sad. Get that away from me. I mean, did you do a stick run or did you just do a normal playthrough of uh, uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance? Because watching Ikka's stick run was uh, pretty harrowing. All right, so we'll go over and we'll get the rest of the stuff out of the... Uh... I think Supermarket has a lot left. I think it was... Bought... I don't know if it has a lot left. I know we've been there. Oh, no, it's completely empty. Dunzo. We've actually 100%ed that. Um, wait. I got 2%. If it isn't ruined, apparently they also are ho they aren't hostile and have a lot of stuff apart. Oh, oh, okay. That's where we went. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I, I thought I remember us going back in there and cleaning the place out because I think the first time we went in, we just ran around collecting anything of value because those other people were there and they were going to loot stuff. All right, sleep in a bed, you're on guard duty, you're scavenging, and sleep in a bed. Okay, perfect. Yeah, but we got to go back to the ruined villa. We'll clean out the less of this stuff, and then we're over to the warehouse, I guess. Since the church is over, already overrun with bad people, and the military outpost is actively shooting civilians, the only other two places are J Sniper Junction, which is probably going to be super dangerous, and um, the construction, construction site, which is also super dangerous, so... We won't go there until it's a last resort. Zane did the stick right to the just getting a stick and then quit. Oh, okay. It got my stick run idea is actually fun. Just, yours is just anti-fun. <laughs> well, what was yours, uh, uh, Floppy Penguin, then? What is your idea to turn the stick run into a fun experiment? Warehouse was armed thugs. We might find some things there we can sneak in, but it's very dangerous. Okay. So, yeah, basically... We're going to all the places that aren't actively still dangerous. I wonder what happens if we take a hatchet to the hospital. Are we allowed to start breaking down things at the hospital with a hatchet? Cyber Junction isn't too bad so long as you move between cover between shots. Oh, it's that one. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, maybe maybe we send Anton on that little adventure. And if Anton doesn't come back, well, that's unfortunate. But at least he died from a bullet instead of being sick. 
Uh, the club is actually a viable weapon, not a meme. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I mean, watching it could do the the ick, the stick run. It definitely didn't look great. But if you if you understood how it worked, then more power to you. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let's go here and get the rest of the wood and stuff. But Zane, I killed an entire bandit camp with a stick. It's true. A lot of stealth helped, but yeah, yeah, the biggest one in the module. It's true. Place was bigger than most of the castles he ended up going to, which is silly. Um. Yeah, he's on guard duty. Sleep, sleep, and scavenge. Okay. Um, we don't need to take anything with us. We're good. You do that with your teeth, and you know it. <laughs> you could just send it in barehanded into any bandit camp, and he just take them all out. It's a plot. It's a plot related one too, which sadly didn't break the module. Oh. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, I must have went to the wrong place. Whoops. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, you could also have killed every innocent in your home village because you're a lunatic. <laughs> the reason I subbed to Ick is to make sure he has money for therapy. I think this is the one is very dangerous. Yeah, it seems like it. Let's grab this freebie stuff and then maybe leave. You're ready to hit run exit at any moment. I thought it was because you're a friendly looking elf. It's up to you purely for hat funds. Well, don't worry. I was thinking about... Ooh, okay. I was thinking about getting some new hats today also. But like I said, it's... Um... Oh, it's... Okay, that's ported up. I want to go and try the hats on. Otherwise, uh... I'm pretty sure they're not going to fit. Is slandering me again? Yeah. She does not look like a friendly elk. She is definitely a human. Uh, <laughs> hoof to God. She's definitely human. Okay. So it looks like the only way in is to go through this door, which would take us into the middle of the house and probably get a shot. I mean, there's no one in there, but... Oh, that door open. <laughs> All right, good. Good, good, good. Uh, run to exit. Leave. Bye. Whoosh. And we are away. <laughs> we got a full backpack and we're out. Mind the werebear in the cellar? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's something I could do. I got to remember the werebears. I pretty much only slander Zane. I mean, that I guess that's true. I'm back in one piece, if a bit tired. I only slander Ika. Um, what are you sitting on? Oh, we were raided. Okay. None of us were wounded in the tactics didn't see anything. We were able to defend ourselves. Nice. I mean, we did get two gun parts, um, components, and wood. A book, and electrical parts, which is nice. So, basically... This will turn these into saws. This will keep the furnace going. Um, uh, this is maybe a trade item or for morale. And then this is, I guess, if we ever decide to do something with electrical parts. So that didn't go bad. The only They only sit on an after a scavenging trip. Oh, is that what they're doing? She looks like she's behind it. Like she's trying to do like a stand-up, like, like a, uh, uh, not a stand-up comedy thing, but a, uh, what do you call it? Um, a, uh... A magician, like a magician routine, like a street mag ma magician. Okay. Why is the house so cold? Stop it. There's no reason for the house to be so cold. We were raided. The only thing they took is Bruno. Good. <laughs> the, only, the only thing they got away with was the Bruno. Wow, this place just does not want to be warm. 
It just refuses. Good lord. We've got three fuel going right now, and it's still barely warming up. Okay, go sit down. Is Franco going to show up today? I don't even know. Make two of these. It's because all of your doors are open. <laughs> I mean, that's not my fault. I can't help that. Plus, the, the doors are shut. The internal ones are, like, kind of open. But the external ones are, are closed. Plus, we boarded up all the big holes. So that should help. This one is boarded up. This one's boarded up. I think there's a third one somewhere. Oh, this one I think is boarded up. So, I mean, we boarded up the holes. I guess it's just because it's, like, so cold it's snowing sort of thing. Let's go music. It'll get much colder snowfall as expected. There are shortages of water throughout the city. If you melt snow for water, make sure to boil it before drinking. Ah, yes. That. Uh, having suffered heavy losses. And music. Okay. All right, so luckily we're way ahead on water, so that's good. You shouldn't have to worry about that too much. Fervor, if you were a PC in this module, what would you, your ability be? Oh, probably hand-to-hand -hand combat. I trained, in, I trained in MMA and stuff for like five years, and I practiced with some like pros, and I was, I was practicing in like the, um, like training to be a, like an MMA fighter thing, like the class for that. So I probably hand to hand combat. Plus I took some college courses on firearm maintenance and like how to like use guns. So <laughs> my ability would be liability. This is not something I expected. Yeah. Most people don't. <laughs> most people don't believe me. <laughs> I don't know why they don't, but I guess I just don't look like someone who knows how to fight. But yeah, I trained at uh, the lab. You can look it up. Um, I think their most notable person is Ben Henderson. He was a former UFC, like, lightweight or featherweight champion. And then he went to um, Bellator. And he just recently retired because his wife is getting into MMA. So he's going to support her. Um, but that's where I trained for... I think I trained there for, like, three years. And then I did another place called a uh, AZ Combat Sports where I trained in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for, I think, two years there. I took a little break in the middle because it's super expensive to train in MMA, and uh, I'm not a particularly rich person. Um, oh, wait, wait, no. You go sit down. You go sit down. He's asleep. Um, we're full on saws. Franco's not here. I nearly fell down the stairs most days. Sometimes I actually do. Well, I mean, are you at least using the handrail? Elk, you could sell, <laughs> sell your fur and coat to keep people warm. See, now that just sounds like she's one step away from, like, selling s warm snuggles. Which I think even in Europe that's illegal, right? Outside of Amsterdam, I think snuggle Amsterdam snuggles are okay. I think that's legal there. Okay, we're still on nine fuel. So we're okay. I think... I think that's legal. Is four fuel enough to keep this freaking house warm? Do I need to make a second furnace? Is that the problem? Is it so cold I need a second furnace? I feel like mine would be spotting extra items while searching. That That's fair. That's not a bad one. Like you find extra objects every time you search a location. Like a 20% more stuff is found. I, that makes sense to me. Amsterdam give their snugglers his <laughs> high-vis jackets for their safety. Yeah. No, okay, you'd specialize in hitting people with sticks and demoralizing the other survivors. That was a true. Oh, no. Ika, you're outvoted. You're outvoted two to one. We might have to build a second furnace. The one furnace is just not doing the, doing the work now. Do I have enough to build a second furnace, though? I do. Okay, so I'd have to do this, and then I need to make one of these to make it upgrade it, right? We might have to make a second furnace. Um, leaving me with eight components and 21 wood, so we'd actually be okay. I don't think that's gonna hurt us too bad. 
And we can place it next to this other one. Wow, this winter is hitting hard, though. Okay, anybody here a winter person? Anyone here like the cold? Bruno Bad got a bullet wound in his chest, Ica. <laughs> 2023. You can build a second furnace, or you can run one furnace at full capacity all the time. However, the more fuel you have in the furnace, the less efficient it is. Right. I think I'm just going to run a second one. So now we upgrade this. We need... Oh, oh my God. That's what's hurting us. Okay, we're going to need a bunch of components. Uh, I mean, that's not as efficient, but that's probably fine. When uh, Franco gets here, we're going to have to get one of those done. I like to gaze out the cold... I like to gaze out to the cold outdoors while warm in my home. Well, that's fair. You like the... Uh, it's rather chilly inside. We should think about heating. I understand that. Um, I'm actively working on that, by the way. Oh, actually, you know what? Come down here. I think I've got one rain filter left. Yes. Um, let's get that started. She should have time. Okay. I'm going to throw a wood into this, I guess. You could burn one to two fuel in the less improved furnace for now, maybe. Yeah, often too little to little success. I like watching others endure it, so you just like watching people shovel snow. I specialize in telling others what to do and preventing negative status effects through comedy and determination. Okay, so you'd be morale. You would be the uh, the manager. You'd be the the morale person. I mean, that's technically a thing. I mean, how good are you at planning? I don't know, like board board game night. Are you good at that? Wait, did we check the radio? We did, right? <laughs> Quarters of water. Yeah, water, and then this is the same, and then this is just music over here. I'm a social worker, so morale is what I do. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. All right. Okay, the, the temperature is going up, which is good. Bobbity would specialize in being the person who dies midway through the season, only one allowing the true, surely, surely protagonist to step up. Yeah. Everything is going good, and then unfortunately he passes away. Okay, scavenge. Um, You're on guard duty. Sleep in a bed, sleep in a bed. But they don't want to be traded. If we're desperate, we could try to steal from them. Oh, okay. So that's the stealing one. So what is the one? Wait, that's the trade one. Is it the abandoned cottage? Okay, it's the abandoned cottage is what I'm thinking of. How are there lots of weapons still here? I swear to God, we took almost everything that isn't wood. Maybe Sniper Junction? Let's go get the, the wood and stuff out of this, and then we'll send we'll send Anton to Sniper Junction and see what happens. Likely because Elk betrayed her party and then pre pretended she had no investment involvement in my death till she gets outed in season three. Yeah, that sounds kind of right. I don't know if it would be her, but it would definitely be someone. There's always got to be these weird betrayals that show up later. And they have to flash back and then they, it's like a cameo of you coming back from season one. And they're like, oh my god. And like all the like the the flappy penguin stands are like, oh my god, it's a, it's a flashback uh, cameo. So happy to see our boy. And it can be a weapon if you swing it hard. Well, that's also well. Is it if I swing a can of or if I swing a handful of noodles at you, is it the noodles doing the damage or is it the fact that my fist hit you in the face? That's the problem. I have to betray you before Ica betrays you. Oh, that's also true. That's also true. I didn't say it was a good weapon. Fair. If you swing a baby at someone and the baby now a weapon, I mean, technically. I'm pretty sure I've at least once attempted to pick someone up and hit another person with them in d and I've never done that in, well, no, I don't think I ever did that as a kid. Not to actually hurt anybody. As a joke, I think I've done it, but I don't think I've ever done it as an actual weapon weapon. But I think I've done it in D&D &D at least once. All right, let's go to the abandoned cottage. We'll get the rest of the stuff there, and then it'll be done. And then after that, it's 
going to the warehouse or we can send Anton who refuses to not be sick over to uh, Sniper Junction and we can try to dodge bullets with Antoine. The baby is a weapon and would be bagged for evidence. <laughs> they just have to wheel a baby crib in and they have to like lock it down in one of those um, like a bubble, a bubble boy bubbles so that it doesn't get contaminated with evidence. It's the most confused baby for the first two years until they can, someone comes in and finally gets evidence released and it gets taken out of the, the holding area. Each police department or like main main uh, police building has a whole baby storage area for every time a baby uses a weapon. <laughs> That'd be a job to try out for. What do you do? Oh, I take care of the babies and police lockup in the evidence section. What? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a nurse for the, the baby evidence room. So if you shake the baby, is that like cooking a grenade elk? Well, no, because cooking a grenade would imply that, that you're like timing it to go off or something. Babies don't really get more dangerous the angrier they are. They just get more ang they get more dangerous the harder you swing them. So like working out with babies would be the equivalent, I think. Because if you get really good at swinging, like working out and using the baby, then you're like prepping yourself to use the weapon more effectively. No release, they just employ it as an adult to log other evidence, yeah. They just officially become uh, words of the state and they just grow up and become other people who take care of evidence. That sounds like a comic book thing. I hate that emote. <laughs> well, isn't it your emote? Why would you hate the baby Zane emote? Isn't it yours? Or is that one that like uh, a advanced lamp made for you and you can't get rid of it? All right, let's go get the wood from this abandoned cottage though. We're not taking anything with us. <laughs> Why is it's accurate? I didn't approve this. Everyone but me wanted it. Ah, it's one of those ones. I can feel that. I can feel that. All right. Okay, so we're gonna we're here and we're gonna get the last stuff, and there should literally be nothing else here to get. Everything else is is done, right? Nothing else. Okay. Why? <laughs> Just... But why is Ain? It's accurate. Okay. Yeah. See, there's no wep. I guess this is the weapons they're talking about. All right, so that's it. That's literally everything of value in this house. We are done after this. I'm gonna break this door down and then the whoever's left can have the rest of the house. Burger, what would you ultimate MMA finishing move be called? My ultimate MMA finishing move? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I'm trying to think of what I was good at. It would probably be something along the lines of like, um, probably like a clenched knee or, you know what? No, no, no. You know what it would be? It would be, um, a f uh, it's kind of hard to describe. I'd have to show you. And I'd probably tear these pants because these are not fighting pants. Um, but I actually really, once I'm warmed up a little bit, I'm actually really, really, um, flexible in my legs. So, I had this thing I could do that most people can't to <laughs> demonstrate all this on Ica. I mean, if I had someone here to hold it for me, but... I don't have anyone, you know, who would want to... Oh my god, it's it's blisteringly cold outside. Um, but there's a thing you do... Oh, he's feeling much better. He finally recovered some. Too bad he's probably going to get shot by a sniper here in a minute. Um, but... <laughs> but um, there's a thing you, you you don't really see it much. It's, it's because it's hard to do. But if you think about someone in the stance... Most people, when you throw a kick... You throw it with your back leg. Or if you're going to kick with your front leg, it's more of a push kick. Well, there is a thing that's like a front kick, but most people can't do it because it requires a lot of hip hip flexibility and a lot of kind of leg, leg strength. But I actually have the flexibility and strength to actually be able to do the, like a front head kick without switching legs or anything. Now do the thing Black Widow does in Iron Man 2, the spinny thing. You mean where you like jump up on someone and like spin around them and then do like a her and Karana and then they like land below you and you like punch them in the neck or something? Could I do one of those? I might be able to do one of those. If we could find someone strong enough to support my weight. I'm a, that's the stuff. I am a heavy lad. Um, most people, most people are shocked about my height or my weight. So 
I would sub for a full year if Burger did that to someone on a stream. If I could find someone to, to I guess, work with me. I volunteer as tribute. I don't think you'd be able to support support my weight. I'm I'm probably a solid like hundred and well, I'm probably like a solid 220, 230 right now. I weigh quite a bit. It's not because you're not strong, it's because I weigh an absolute boatload. I swear I have to have like overly dense bones or something. Because back even when I was training all the time. How tall am I? I'm 5'7. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm short and wide. I am, I am the, the, the fridge door. I am short and wide. Um, but yeah, even back when I trained all the time and I was trying to cut weight to get to like fighting weight, I had a, an insane time, um, trying to get to, uh, like under 180 pounds. Like, Getting under 180 pounds, I literally had to cut down to like a thousand calories a day, and I was training, I think, three times a week for like two hours each time. You're literally twice my weight burgers. I yeah, but even then, even with me training that much, I could barely get under 180 pounds, and um, everyone assumed I weighed like 100 and like 50 to 160 pounds. But when I would tell them like, you know, I weigh 180 pounds, they're like, what? That's impossible. You do not look like you weigh that much. I have to have just super dense bones or something. That's only like two S S T heavier than me. What is S T? Two stone? Two stones heavier? Oh, okay, stones. Yeah. Well, I don't know how much a stone weighs, but either way, that's still a ton of weight. You were talking pounds, right? Yes, yes. I have about two. Probably like two hundred and. Uh, 220 pounds. I'll say that. I, I don't know exactly where I'm at. I haven't weighed myself in a while, but I'm pretty heavy right now. I don't know. Stones, weird British measurement. Yeah. I'm 177. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I have... Yeah, I have like 50 pounds on you, probably. But, yeah, most, most people... Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not a small lad. One stone is 14 pounds. Okay, so I'm more like, probably closer to like four stones t heavier than you. I know US Imperial and metric, good enough. <laughs> yeah, five, seven-ish, yeah. On a good day, it's, you know, five, eight. On a bad day, it's five, six, right? All right, Anton. Uh, all right, all right, so Anton's feeling better. Okay, so it's an odd day, so we need to cook. Uh, we don't have any veggies, so everyone's just getting Ooh. Oh, this is the making the clean water thing for snow. Interesting. Okay. Okay. We make the four food. Um, you go get in bed. Please hurry. Why is it so cold? I don't understand why it's so cold. I've got two furnaces going. You're about the same height. You can support my weight. Doing it, Elk. <laughs> Black Widow me, Poppy. Do you have any tumbling experience? This is the part of the module it gets super cold. Ah, okay. Alright, come get some food. Oh, we can shovel snow. Oh, we can also make a snowman. Okay. <laughs> come make a snowman. Now I don't want to do it. <laughs> no, I mean, it would probably be better the other way around. If if you could figure out a way to uh, Black Widow me. <laughs> Why are you? You just showed up. Okay. Thanks, Franco. Don't stop and talk to the guy outside. Are you tend on the metal skills to make the perfect snowman? Yeah, exactly. But, um, you're better off going the other way. If you could black widow me, that would be better. I used to be able to lift, like, 260-pound guys and do, like, squats with them on my back and stuff, so. I could easily handle 170 pounds. I could probably lift you with, like, one arm if I really wanted to. 
Ike to do the Black Widow thing, he's got eight tentacles to get a grip with. <laughs> no, no, Zane, you're insane. I mean, I don't know if it would probably be way easier for a an octopus to do a throw a Black Widow move. All right, what do we got here? Okay, we got a lot of components and wood, a filter. We are, we're gonna need the filter. Wait, why does Ika have tentacles? This is news to me. They like to call each other um, octopi. Most I've ever lifted was a dummy that weighed 175 pounds. Had to move it like 30 feet. Ah, yeah, is that like some first aid training thing? I did that once. We had to, when I was doing SWAT competitions when I was a teenager, one of the competitions was like an obstacle course and they had like a 170 pound dummy you had to move. I think it was 20 feet. You had to take it like 10 or no. It might have it might have been 30 because I had to take it 30 and then bring it or take it 15 and bring it back 15. Police training was just being a cop. It was not fun at my way. That's fair. But yeah, I know what you mean. I did volunteer work with a, a local police department while I was a teenager and then after I technically turned uh, 18, I moved into like the adult volunteer program for a while. Unfortunately, due to my eye problem, um, I cannot be hired by most police departments. But yeah, fun times just, you know, didn't work out for me, unfortunately. All right, so we're gonna want all the components. We want all your components. Um, what do I got to give you? Um, oh wait, okay, you had a filter. So what are we getting rid of? We can probably get rid of this guitar now and this. Um, we can get rid of these. I've carried my brother on my back before. I think he weighed 140, 150 at the time. To be fair, a dummy is just dead weight. Yeah, carrying dead weight like that is way harder than you would think it would be. It's it's because it's all floppity, you know. Is that where you get your? Is that where you get your screen name from? Is that where you get the screen name? Is because it's all floppity. If I'm carrying someone on my back, it might be easier. Yeah, I'm not in the police department because it would, would jeopardize my chances of. Of of marrying rich into the yakuza. That's true. Unless you unless you were an inside source for the yakuza, in which case, you know, it might increase your chance. Um. All right. So that stuff. Probably give bullets. Oh, the tobacco. Oh, okay. We can actually trade all that. Really. Oh, okay. We were going to lose out a lot of money on that deal if I had just gone through with that. Okay, I'm happy I checked it. All right, so we can trade all this stuff for all those components, and then um, we're not even using any of our saws. Fantastic. Uh, the guitar could be used to make your guys happier, although we don't do much unless you get Roman to play it. That's true, I guess. I guess I could keep the guitar. The problem was it was 10 wood to fix it, right? that in there oh okay we're good right. wait, wait wait let me take take one of these off okay okay that's not bad <laughs> uh oh wait wait hold on before I allow this elk you can't just you can't join the accuser they cut off fingers for disloyalty which you don't have fingers you have hooves. <laughs> oh, okay. Ika, can you allow that or do I need to allow that? Unfortunately, that sentence structure upset the bot. Hold on, let me allow that. <laughs> Let's see. The Qatar could be used to make. Okay, although you don't. R Roman Van Halen? I don't think so. Yeah, save it for if you make it through winter. Will be their reward, maybe? Ah. Uh. I'm not at the PC right now. Okay, it's fine. I got it. Okay, so we do this trade. We get all these components, and then we do another trade. For the rest of the components, um, maybe this food. Probably the components, the food, and this water filter. Because we can go get wood, and that won't be an issue. <sighs> all right. I think that works. So we'll deal for this. Not that that applies to me, of course, but surely that just means that I am incredibly loyal as I lack the fingers to, to pay for dis disloyalty. Exactly. 
What do you need for your second furnace? Just tons and tons of components. I think we needed 20, and um, I had eight, so I'm gonna need um, 12 for that. And then I think wood-wise, I don't think we really needed much wood, so. I mean, if you can't pay to be disloyal, you definitely don't be disloyal, right? It's that simple, straightforward. All right, so we take this deal, but we're not done yet. Um, all right, so we want the rest of these components. He doesn't have any gun parts, unfortunately, which would have been nice. We need this, um, and then this. And I guess we can, like, trade for the rest of this wood? I think, uh, I think when I ran double upgraded furnaces, I usually stuck with three or four on both of them for winter. Wow, okay. They can all just huddle around Roman. This man is smoking. Wow. Your type, eh? Anyways, I had to go later, burger guy. <laughs> okay, floppity penguin, you have a good one. <laughs> have a good rest of your uh, day or night or evening or whatever we're doing. All right, so what are we giving f him for that? Um, I mean, we got these saws, right? How many saws does it take? Okay, it would take eight saws. Eight saws. Okay, so... Okay, we would be losing out quite a bit on that deal. I don't have any sugar or anything small. What are shell casings worth? Are those worth like one? Because I mean, if shell casings are only worth one, we can give them the shell casings to make up the difference. Bonk be gone with you. <laughs> All right, so the shell casings are worth one. Oh, that's right. Some of this stuff has increased value in winter time, right? For shells and components? Okay. Okay, so wait. Okay, so that's even. Okay, we're getting it for two. So if I take that out... So we do that. Okay. So we're giving seven saws. I mean, we're not really as worried about saws right now. We'll still have uh, seven, another seven saws. We're getting components. We're getting food. We're getting wood, which we're going to need for the furnaces. Water filters, which I don't know if we can... We can't use snow right or water filters right now, can we, though? I guess if I don't need water filters, we drop the water filter and we just take extra wood. If you don't plan to get garden, could probably sell electronic components to later. That's true. Water fills are needed when you melt snow. Oh, okay. So we still need that. Okay. Where are we at on food? We have eight food. We'll be getting one. That's nine. We got the two rat traps going, which is fine. We still have tobacco, herbs. We we don't have anyone to trade this with. I guess unless we go to the hospital. Um, coffee we can trade. The the simple medical herbs we can trade. We got the guitar still. We still have uh, casings and gunpowder. We've got four books. And we should be able to go get a bunch of wood tonight. So I don't think we should be too bad on that. <laughs> Drink the snowman flesh? Ugh, that's a weird way of thinking about it. Don't care for that. Sure don't. Sure don't. Um. Okay. So we'll take this trade. Because I think, yeah, we'll take this trade. Um, <clears throat> this should give us enough to, like, start upgrading and stuff. Okay, I think we're good now. Um, I thought you got better. Why are you still sick? I thought you got better. Here, you come in here, and you go work on the snowman. Actually, just tell this guy to leave. We're good with him for now. Okay. Sick of your nonsense? I guess so. Whatever his problem is. Alright, so we can upgrade this other furnace. It's so cold in here. 
Oh yeah, I didn't take any wood at all. It's only components and parts, which we have plenty of. Okay. Let's make this. I gotta wait for these two to wake up. What are you doing? I didn't say you were done. You get back out there. You get back out in that field. You ain't done yet. Okay, good. Come eat, please. You get out there and you make that snowman. You make your dead grandfather proud. I am a grandfather. I didn't say you weren't. I'm just saying you need to make him proud. All right, eat the food. Okay, you put the thing into this. Put two and two and see how that does. All right, you come in here and take a nap now, Grandpa. Uh, Roman, you go outside and you get, uh, you work on the snowman. Let's see. After we finished carving up the city between ourselves and the enemy, things got even uglier. Entire groups of civilians were brought in for questioning and much often shot as not to leave witnesses behind. I guess. I wanted no part of that. I'm a fighter, not a murderer. He wanted a clean fight. Making him build a snowman whilst it actively snows? Yeah. Roman would probably give... The snowman a knife? I mean, probably. If we had an extra one to give. Why is it still so cold? Oh, God. I don't have the fuel for this. Stop it. Stop being cold, darn it. And we'll do another eight, and that'll get us back to this. Roman needs a knife. His start misses his jawline and wit. Do we have any other bios? No. I mean, he's got a pretty solid jawline on there. I mean, he looks young, though. It's rather chilly inside. We should think about heating. I'm at... What do you think you're doing, idiot? You're actively working on a fuel source. Moron. Everyone ate, right? Yes. Okay. These people. Okay, well, the rat traps definitely are not being affected by, uh, I don't think, Anton. Okay. Hopefully that helps some. I think Mochi Cat puts on lead slippers when we go to bed. You can, how do you hear your cat stomping around? Aren't cats supposed to be notoriously, like, quiet? How are you going to sneak up on a mouse if you've got loud clickety-clack claws? You have foot pads. The foot pads are designed specifically to not make noise. Okay, you're done. You get to come in here and sit down. Now it's, it's Erica. Uh, yeah, Erica's turn to come and finish this up. Exactly, I think he does it on purpose. That's a very interesting idea for a cat. He's always inclined until we go to bed and suddenly we have a hippo. <laughs> there we go, everyone. Everyone contributed to the snowman. Okay. Okay. Despite having been told that he got better, he apparently is still just sick. So, I don't know how that's helping, but whatever. Um, okay, where are we on wood? Got 30 wood. We've got seven fuel left. Nine food. That gives us another two rotations of food. We're definitely going to get another food. Hopefully the next time he shows up, we get some gun parts from him. Um, we have components now. Is it the, the brothel had gun parts? They just don't have food or components, right? They had a bunch of other stuff, but they don't have food or components. I think they only have um, uh, gun parts and stuff. Yeah? Okay. Okay, any news? Any good news? It is cold. Unfortunately, higher temperatures are not expected over the next couple of days. Make sure to keep the fire going day and night. Yeah, we're working on that, bud. There are shortages of water. Death takes its toll in pilgrims. Sniper fire, mortar shells, and cold temperatures are the cause of deaths of many civilians. The spokesman for the military said 
Civilian casualties are the result of tragic accidents and criminal activity within the city. Wow. They're just out there shooting everybody. They might have food, but no components. Okay. Well, after we go get some wood, what we can do is we can go over there and try to trade with them with our saws. Because we need to get gun parts now. Like, we're kind of back in that rotation of gun parts and and uh, components. And then food. Steal their blankets at the brothel? That would be messed up. Those are hardworking women. Well... We'll say hardworking people, because I mean they might have some um, juggalo or gigolos working in the in the brothel. So, duvets or just sheets? In the winter, in the winter it's probably duvets. In the summer it's probably just sheets. You know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? You got to make it comfortable in there for both both participants or all participants if there's more than two. Uh, all right, so the abandoned cottage, done. Um, like, if I'm a working girl, I want my comfortable duvet. Well, that's fair, too. Okay, so that place is done. Supermarket is done. Oh, some of these places are under, apparently, assault again? Okay, so we can't go to the hospital. We can't go to the quiet house. Oh, this is actually bad. They took away the shelled school. And the brothel. Oh, my God. Okay, well, that changes things slightly. Um, hmm. Maybe we send Anton to Sniper Junction now? Unfortunately, numerous incidents with civilians shot out there earned it the name Sniper Junction. We may find valuable things there, but it's very risky. Blocked off by snow slash ice. Oh, I didn't know that was an effect. Okay, interesting. Yeah, maybe we send Anton up here to Sniper Junction. Good thing the brothel still has blankets then, yeah. You gotta keep you gotta keep your uh your people happy. Especially in that kind of business. It's all about pleasure. Alright, so are we gonna risk Anton <laughs> to sniper fire at Sniper Junction? Should we do that to now today? Let's make sure to use cover, right. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna send you the scavenge, Grandpa. You get to sleep in the bed for the first time in quite a while. Um, St. Mary's Church is overrun with bad people. This is bad people. Oh, no, this is the trade. Okay, this is the trade. Um, I guess all... Okay, this is just... Okay, this is just stealing from them. Abandoned Cottage is empty. Can't access this. Military outpost is shoot on site, so we can't go there. Supermarket's completely empty. Unless, I guess, we came back with a hatchet. We might be able to break some stuff down. So really the only places we can go that aren't dangerous, well, aren't actively hostile, I guess would be one of these two, right? Sneaking? No, don't do that. I want him to live. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Goodbye, Anton. You banned sneaking. Okay. No, don't do that. I want him to live. What's construction site's description? It was supposed to be a luxurious residential area, and there was a great hype of apartments there. But developers fled ab abroad when the war started. Recently, the military wrested control of this area from the rebels. We should scavenge whatever the rebels left behind, but there's a risk of encountering military patrols. So dangerous. There's some food, lots of materials, lots of meds, huge amounts of weapons, lots of parts, but... That's super dangerous? It sounds super dangerous. We'll, go, we'll send Anton to, to Sniper Junction, and we'll just make sure to use cover. Much more than Sniper Junction? I believe it. Because, I mean, after that, we really don't have anywhere else to go. Like, unless we decide to go full, like, we're going to have to maybe start killing people. Let's see. Half of it's ruined, but there's people living in the other half. Apparently, they aren't hostile and have a lot of stuff to barter even food and meds let's remember to take something i mean we can trade with them if we want to kill people we'd have to go here this is empty this is like neutral kill on site empty so just join the military easy oh yeah i'm sure they'll take in like this squad no problem if anton survives sniper junction you can then send him to see if military outpost really is kill on site since they do trade weapon parts that's true they do 
I guess we can go check that out afterward. And if he dies, well, he dies. Grandpa's doing us no good. He refuses to get healthy and he has no skills, so. I don't know if they'll take saws, though. I mean, we also have bandages and some tobacco left. So we'll take a few things with us and see what they'll trade. I mean, as long as we walk away with, like, three gun parts, we're actually going to make a profit, right? Um, all right. So we're going to Sniper Junction with Anton, and we're going to use Cover. Luckily, I don't think we need to use Stealth for this, so... Stealth will not be the issue. I think it's just making sure we stay in Cover and get the timing right, so... Okay. So here we go, everyone. Let's see if uh, Grandpa Anton is, is going to make it back after going to Sniper Junction in the middle of the cold with... He's sick in the middle of a, a blizzard, and we're sending him to Sniper Dun Junction to dodge sniper fire. Because he's got to finally earn his keep. He's not good with the rat traps, and he serves no other purpose, so it's time. Alright, should I bring anything else, like a, a crowbar or something? Gotta prove yourself, old man. It's your time to go to the Sniper Junction. You either, either come back with everything, or you don't come back at all. You could use a crowbar there, if I remember correctly. All right. <laughs> bring a signed will. Yeah. All right. We can. I guess we can bring a crowbar and see what happens. All right. All right, Anton. Here we go, bud. You might not be coming back today. Let's see what happens. All right. It used to be such a lovely place. I miss those times. Okay, was that gunfire? Watch out, you don't want to get shot by a sniper. It's true. I prefer not to get shot by a sniper. Oh, he's shooting very quickly. The jerk in the hotel covers the whole darn street. Okay. Either take cover behind something or stay away. Okay, so the hotel's back there. I'm like there's a building over here. Okay. I must admit the sniper is one dangerous warrior, exclusive like oh something. So So I just have to run between shots, or am I looking for something specific? Yeah, hide behind those. I get that part. I just... Gunfire is on a repeated loop. Each of these things can block fire. Okay. So I wait for a bullet, and then I run. Ah, okay, yeah. Run, Grandpa, run! Oh! I think he almost grazed him. Nothing. The sniper shot me. You're lucky he didn't hit you. It's true. Okay, we have the sewer. Oh, it won't budge. Oh, okay, it's locked from this, the, uh, this side. Oh, slightly wounded. Okay. Run! Okay. Is there people down here? Oh, it's rats. Okay. You can open the shortcut below. Yeah. Luckily, we brought the crowbar. Which makes it safer in later visits. Yeah. I mean, if nothing else, we're getting fuel. I just have to watch my time carefully. So what happens if you run out of time here? Does he just die? Okay. 
Did I hear him just open that door? You did hear him open just just open that door. Ah, there's the crowbar. Also a baby crying. That's fun. None of this is considered theft, by the way, so... Okay, inventory is full, so we're getting out of here, team. Right down here will give you a reward like the hobo. Oh, okay. I don't know how to be grateful I am. Come with me. I will repay you somehow. Oh my god, dude, we have we are in a hurry. I'm here with you. Let's go, bud. Let's go. I have a time limit. Stealing off a baby. I didn't steal from the baby. I stole from random stuff in the basement. The baby is elsewhere. We're almost there. I just hope my boy is fine. Is that your kid crying? You probably should get back to him. Yeah. Like, I'm re we really need to hurry, bud. Can I carry you? You're, like, limping and slow and stuff? I think I will have something for you. Oh, good. He's just going to unlock this door for us. Jacob, daddy's here, and he's not going anywhere. Look, we saved the baby's dad. Okay, we really need to go, bud. Like, friendo. Box beneath the bed. Box beneath the bed. Where, Where is it? Uh... Okay, there we go. I don't want to think what would happen if it wasn't for you. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, let's leave the coffee and the tobacco and take all of this then. You're a hero. Okay, you, you're good to go. Yeah, we got to get out of here now. Okay, we got to run. Run, 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 run. Faster, Grandpa Anton. I know you're slightly wounded and you have a pneumonia, but we, we, we really need to run. Uh. Get out of there. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> Grandpa Antoine survived the Sniper Alley. He proved himself and survived Sniper Alley. Hello, look at all this stuff. I wish I could bring that so much every night. Achievement unlocked. Diary. Effing snow. And saved a baby while he was at it. That's true. He's a hero. Anton is feeling much better. We just have to keep an eye on him. <laughs> Apparently getting him out and having him shot by a sniper, he really caught a second wind off, off of that. I guess. Alright, Roman. Go sleep. Alright. Where are we at? Okay. Anti-hero making a baby grow up in this world. <laughs> I mean, that's an interesting way of thinking about it. Oh, wait. Anton, you're not done yet. Oh, you got a bio. What do we get? The man wouldn't have made it without my help, but I was lucky to survive, too. It's true, Grandpa. It's true. Double rat? Yeah. Okay, Antoine. You're on rat duty still, bud. You ain't done yet. Okay, go sit down. Um, so, it, when Franco shows up, we have a ton of stuff to trade with him. It's just when he shows up. Um, where are we on water? Okay, we're still good on water. Wood's looking okay. Fuel's okay. We still got a water filter. Four books right now. Five gems to trade with. Eleven food. Okay. The real hero would have been pneumonia. Glad I have this book. Okay, reset the trap. Boom. Okay, gr okay, Grandpa Antoine, you're done for a while. Go sleep. Okay. Oh. Someone's at the door. Okay. Well, what do, what do we what do we what do we, what do we, what do we want? Yes? How can I help you? Hi again, I came to thank you for the help. Oh, oh, are you okay? 
Thank you so much for protecting us. My sister and her husband came to visit us. They live in another part of town and invite us to stay with them. I think we'll be safer there, so we're leaving. Before we go, I wanted to thank you and give you my husband's shotgun along with the rest of our ammunition. We won't need it anymore, I hope. So you're giving me a broken shotgun? You're giving me a broken shotgun and six shotgun parts and ammo. Okay, well, I mean, at least this we can turn into saws and the ammo trades well. All right, thanks. I hope you don't need to use it, but you never know. Darn it, there's no smokes left. <laughs> he says as she walks away. All right, well. I mean, that's one way to get free weapon parts is just have someone hand us a, a gun. Where's your gratitude? She didn't give you anything. What? Where's your gratitude? She didn't give you anything? What do you mean? She gave us plenty of stuff. Not even a thank you? Oh, yeah. Well, she was thanking us. How many thank yous should we pass back and forth? Thank you for helping me. Well, thank you for thanking me for helping you. Well, thank you for thanking me for thanking you for helping you. Nothing but a complaint from Bruno about not having enough smokes. God, we gotta get the temperature up. Here, come put wood on the fire. Anton did the right thing. I know. I'm the one who told him to do the right thing. Enough sleeping. Okay, that's good. Go sit down. How much is a bit worth? I have exactly two. Two bits? I mean, isn't that old saying, here's two bits? And I don't know why. I mean, you spent, you probably spent a dollar and you spent all the rest of it, but for some strange reason, you didn't spend those last two bits. I don't think anyone's ever given me bits before. All right, so we're back up to, we're back up to the 13 saws. Cheered with two bits. Well, thank you for the two bits. I'm glad we could share that. Yeah, it was really interesting. I haven't customized that because I didn't think anyone would ever be giving me bits. Did we listen to the, I don't think we listened to the radio today yet. It's cold. Death takes its toll in programs, sniper fire, mortar shells, and cold temperatures are the cause of death of many civilians. Oh, Ica, thank you for the, the bits. Can buy half a penny with that? Yeah, exactly. Uh, the, the, the spokesman for the military said civilian casualties is this the same thing? So the military casual counties are the result of a tragic accidents at criminal activity. Oh, okay, that's the same thing. Music. Shortages of water. Classic. Weather's the same. Okay. All right. I mean, at least the furnaces going seem to be working. So that's good. Always appreciate a good uh, a good furnace going. It sucks that I'm burning three fuel at a time, but luckily we have the wood for it right now. So need to give him sixty more bits for his Nintendo hat. <laughs> My Nintendo hat. What's in the Nintendo hat? N sixty four hat. What? Do you want me to order a Nintendo sixty four hat? Is that what you're saying? What, what happened at Sniper Drift could end much worse. It's true. It could have. It was a terrible joke. Oh, a 64-bit hat. Got you. Yes. That's really deep, actually. I'm sorry. I didn't think I didn't realize what was going on there. I actually like that joke. That's a good joke. Just a little, a little too advanced for me. Anton did the right thing. I'm aware of this. I'm the one who made Anton do the thing. All right. Um, where are my cigarettes? It's a great question. Ch 
Jeez, I can't believe I've got these going at three and it's still cold in here. I know we should think about heating. We've got two furnaces going. 54 degrees Fahrenheit sounds hot. No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> That's, I don't even know what would that be. I mean, 32 degrees Fahrenheit is when water freezes. So, and usually like something in the 80s, like 82 degrees Fahrenheit is considered warm. So 54 degrees Fahrenheit is pretty cold, actually. Uncomfortably cold. Why 32? Uh, because whoever came up with our system of measurements was an idiot. What is wrong? I don't know. I, it's not my fault. I wasn't alive when they invented it. it doesn't make any sense to me. And water boils, what, at 160? Or 180? 181? I think it's 180, right? Oh my god, we're just burning through fuel. It's about 14 degrees Celsius. Free freezes at zero and boils at 100. Which makes some a monological sense, yeah. Logical numbers, yeah. Oh, I didn't even realize it was nighttime. All right. All right, we're back on scavenge mode with you. You're on guard duty, and you're both sleeping in beds. Uh, okay, what are we doing? Where are we going? Okay, Sniper Junction we've been to. Construction site's super deadly. We can't go back there. Church is deadly. Um, do we send Anton to go barter with the military? Oh, come on, that isn't freezing, just chilly? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, It's just cold. It's not a place. It's not the temperature you want it to be when you're sleeping. Not without a blanket, and since these people don't use blankets for whatever reason. And that's in the house with two furnaces going. Admittedly, we have a bunch of the house we're not using for anything, but... Um... I guess we can send Antoine... I mean, he's hungry and sick. Brothel's locked off by the snow. Otherwise, all we have is the semi-detached house to trade with. What's the highest you've seen in Firebird City Cell tier? Um, the highest I've seen is a hundred and I think twenty-three. I think that's the record. I was here for that. Once you hit about a hundred and ten, um, one yeah, probably probably about a hundred and ten and up. Um, why are they not putting beds in the furnace rooms? Um, well, because that doesn't change anything. The furnaces just heat up, heat up the whole house evenly. So putting the beds next to the furnaces doesn't help, unfortunately. I thought about that, but it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Um, but anything over about 110, uh, you, it, it basically just like, it's like a furnace, like you or like an oven. Like if you've ever opened an oven and like that hot air like blows out into your face and you're like, oh God, that sucks. That's like what it is, is like leaving a house or getting out of a car is you just open the door and like you're just hit with a, a blast of hot air. Once it hits about 110. 30 is my all right, son, calm down. Okay, you want to know what's crazy? This weekend, this weekend, it's supposed to get back up into the 80s. And I think by like early next week, it's supposed to be in the 90s. So it's going to start hitting that 30 degree, that 30 degree Celsius mark probably by like Monday or Tuesday of next week. And then for the rest of the summer until we hit like October, it's going to stay there. Here in Kansas though, on bad days in the summer, it can get up to around 42 degrees Celsius. Yeah. I know Kansas can actually get pretty hot. I've, on one of the podcasts I listen to, the, they live in Kansas and they talk about how on the, on the worst, worst of it in the summer, it can actually get pretty warm up there. All right. Hmm. Do I want to go trade? Let's go talk to him in trade, I guess, since we can't go to the brothel. I'd rather throw myself into the Nile. Pretty awful when it's not when it's that hot and humid. Yeah, the humidity really, really sucks. It can really make that miserable. I guess we can go trade. We'll let Anton heal up for maybe a couple days and see if um 
Once the Elise gets his wounds taken care of, we can send him over to the military outpost and see if they're like shoot on sight. Because this is done. Oh, no, no, no. This is the one where it's just stealing. Um, this is done. Trade. Theft. Maybe shoot on sight. Done. Sniper fire. Um, deadly. Deadly. So. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go trade with a semi-detached house. And uh, see what we can get from them right now. Bring uh, Yeah. Hot and Human is my DJ name. <laughs> That's not a terrible ZJ name. <laughs> you're not a popular DJ. I disagree. I bet you're a great DJ. I bet you're a fantastic DJ. Um, I'll take some... How many shell cases can I take in a stack? Wow. Up to 17 in a single stack? Dang. Uh, let's take five... Five to kind of fill in the gaps if we need to. I mean, she wasn't a great DJ during the D&D when everyone was depressed. I mean, all she has to play, though, is a triangle. She chose, like, the most monotone instrument to play. It's kind of hard to play a good triangle during a depressing march back from a, a, a campsite attack. I, I performed an adequate triangle solo. I mean, you did okay for the disadvantage of... Of having only a triangle to play. I mean, you could have gone with like a harmonica or something. That's got some, uh, some, at least some range to it. All right, we'll take this stuff and see if we can trade. Oh, there's bullets too. Yeah, but we'll take this stuff and see if we can't trade it for anything. And we'll save the rest of this for Franco. That way we have the, as much advantage as we can, you know? All right. But yeah, if we need to push D&D &D this week, I'm fine with that. I'm also been just super busy and I haven't had a lot of time to put into like the finer details of what I want to have kind of happen next. So I'm okay with pushing it a week. The best part of triangle is the strength of the shape. Well, that's true. You're not wrong. It's just, you know, how does that work for like, you know, actual, you know, sound making? How much, how much range of sound can you get out of a triangle? What do we got in here? Oh, okay. Some more bullets and some wood. Okay, we'll just take it with us. The sound of security is more than enough. <laughs> That's fine, since I'll be busy this weekend with it being my birthday anyway. That's true. That's true. So we'll push it then. We'll push it till next Friday. Does that sound fine with everyone? Is that okay? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the dig out stuff down here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, is there stuff that's just loot down here? Wait, what is this? How old would you be? 15? 25? Got your stuff together pretty good, I'd say. For a 25 year old. Yes, it is okay. Okay, cool. It's fine by me. I've been, I've just been so busy this, like, I had some crazy stuff happen yesterday and. Yeah. It was just a lot. <sighs> all right. What do you all got? Um, oh, wow. You've got a lot of really good stuff. Oh, man. Um, okay. So, veggies. Take the weapon parts. Yeah, they've got weapon parts, and that's enough. That's four right there. So that's four, and then we need, what, two per weapon? So that would be eight of these. We would need eight of these to turn these all into saws. Maybe check to see if the radio on saws ingredients does actually get you profit here. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. Sure. Uh... Let's see. Ooh, actually it doesn't. Look at that. Oh my God. Yeah, the saws are not valuable to this guy.
Yeah, we're not even getting half of the value right now. Now, remember, it's winter so too, so components have high cost. Oh, they double or whatever, right? Or quadruple? They quadruple, right? Okay, let's try uh, sugar. Okay, he's trading me five sugar for, for a saw, so that's a little bit better. Oh, trade. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Two components and a weapon part? Hmm, no. It's not it's not the value because of the components. Burn the trader? I'm not burning the trader. Yeah, the components cost too much. We might have to wait until we can deal with uh Franco on components then. I don't know how much a weapon part costs. We can get two per saw. Two for five each. Okay, so two, that'd be five, 7.5. All right, so we're not getting a full return. So that's, okay, so that's 7.5 worth of components here. And we're giving up 9.5. So we're, we're losing a little bit there. Right. Saws to 7.5. So... Random gunfire in the distance. Um, so what is that? Like a 50% markup? 3, 3, and 3 would be 9. And we're giving 9.5. So yeah, it's like a 50%... Or not a 50% markup. It would be uh, like a 25%... Or 20% markup. It'd be like a 20% markup, basically. It seems like it's what's going on here. Yeah. So this is probably worth about 9 instead of the 7.5 it should be worth. And we're giving him 9.5 to trade for that. Hmm. Hmm. What's this? Oh, that's just pure alcohol. I don't need that. I mean, we need the weapon parts. I have components back at the house. We can at least turn that into something. I mean, maybe we take the veggies and one food. If I do it this way, that's a, that's a meal. Oh, that's not even a meal for everyone, though. Yeah, I'd have to take all the food and veggies. Wow, we can barely get there. Wow. I mean, we're giving up basically everything. Hmm. I mean, this will buy us another meal, which is good. And this is four more saws. I mean, it's not a terrible trade. It's just the fact that we're not getting the two components per weapon part. We're going to have to kick in that part on our own. I mean, at least we'll get the food, and this will help give us weapon parts for Franco. And usually Franco gives us a better deal than this guy anyway. I guess we'll just take this for now. I mean, giving up the tobacco is whatever, and the shell casing is fine. We still have a bunch of those back at home, so. Plus, I think we found one here. So, that, that's found loot to just trade is fine. But this will buy us two days and a little less water. And then this will give us some more saws, so. It's probably fine. I mean, we still have the five gems back at home to trade and I think a bunch of bullets. I think we still have the bullets that we got from the lady that we helped with the bandits. And I think we have more tobacco and more shell casings and gunpowder. So we still have a lot to trade. Yeah, I guess we just take this for now. I mean, we're losing... I mean, we're definitely losing money on this, but... We need the gun parts because we're out at home, and we need the food because... Franco doesn't always show up with food. So I think we just take the stuff we absolutely positively need to have to keep our economy going and ourselves going. 
but not try to get like crazy with the components or or wood or whatever. Um, it's good to know how much stuff he's got though. It's better than, and he's giving us a better deal than the apartment guy would, right? The apartment guy like completely hosed us when we talked to him. So, all right, I'm gonna take this stuff, um, and then we'll try to just save the rest of it for uh, Franco since he always gives us the best deal. All right. The other thing I wanted to check out was what was going on in this basement. Oh, yeah. I forgot this is locked, right? Yeah. I could force the lock if only I had tools. I have to remember to bring, if we come back here, to bring the crowbar with us. Okay. This is, okay. That's blocked off. We'll just use this last bit of time to dig through this. Oh, this is stealing, though. Oh, I didn't realize this was stealing. Yeah, so this is just the sneak the sneaky way into their apartment. Hmm. I mean, I kind of don't mind stealing from these guys. They clearly have more than enough supplies. So. Steal from them because they rip you off? Yeah, basically. Like, we just make up the difference of them ripping us off by just stealing stuff out of their basement. Also, this rat doesn't look quite like a normal rat. Oh, it's distorting from the, the graphics or something. It's getting all long-necked. Okay, that's a shapeshifter. That's not actually a full, a regular rat. It ends up looking more like a mongoose or something. Like, that is, that is not okay. That is not a normal rat. Rat falls? Yeah, that's 100% a, uh, uh, some sort of, uh, shapeshifting rat or something. Praise be unto devil rat. Yeah. I'm just saying if I was saw this rat sitting outside somewhere and then suddenly its neck got super long and its body got all distorted, I'd be like, better go get my gun because that's definitely a monster that's going to try to eat me in a second. And I'd get a, I'd get a big gun too. I wouldn't get just a handgun. I got a bigger gun. I would, I'd go get the bigger gun. If only I had some kind of shovel. Shut up and keep digging. Look, Grandpa, Grandpa Anton dodged sniper fire with a cold to go get us some jewelry, all right? The least you could do is dig through some ice-cold debris to get into the basement of some apartment where we're going to rob people. God. <laughs> get a saddle and ride it to war? I don't think it's quite that big. Though that does remind me of the comic book uh, Battle Pug. Have you ever heard of Battle Pug? It's a... It's a fantasy uh, comic book where uh, a, a Conan the Barbarian type rides a giant, uh, like, horse-sized pug into battle. And it follows all, like, the shenanigans they get up to. I haven't heard about it in a long time, so I'm assuming it's probably not still ongoing, but... I would insist on a large snouted mount. Yeah. Yeah, Battle Pug's not going to have exactly a, a good time breathing, unfortunately. More aerodynamic? Yeah, the the, the blunt-faced pug isn't really exactly what you would call uh, aerodynamic. Okay, what's down here? Oh, okay, this is actually freebie stuff. Do we need to leave pretty quick after this? Okay, grab all that. So if we come back here, we need a crowbar... And um, the being prepared to, to sneak. Okay, run to exit. Run to the exit. Run to the exit, please. No. Run. Run to the exit. Don't don't walk casually. We're running to the exit. Thank you. Erica can crowbar pretty silently, which is nice. Yeah, we found that out, I think, last week, how quiet she was with a crowbar. Day 27. The sponge crowbar? It's a silenced crowbar. It's got an extra long handle with a baffling on it to make it less less uh, noisy. Uh, let's see. Someone, uh, no, no one attacked. Okay, nothing was stolen. Anton is pale and coughing all the time. He looks severely sick. Okay, we have meds for him. God. Fine, Antoine. Where are you? 
Uh, oh, bile. Anton is very ill. Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. We got a couple things. He carried me out of the city. He walked all night. We flo flowed with a, tr a tr terrified crowd. Father carried me all the way. I had no idea where that old alcoholic found the strength. The day broke, and he was still carrying me. When we got here, he just dropped to his knees and died. I always remember the last words he whispered. Okay. Anton is very ill. I really worried about... We could contra contract this disease. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, Anton. Time to visit the outpost. Do you think he'll make it if we if we come back and give him the, the meds tomorrow? Will you think he'll make it? Anton has COVID. I mean, he's been been uh, isolating pretty good, though. Okay. Oh, it's day 27, so we do need to cook. Um, no, stay in bed, idiot. I haven't slept in some time. Let's see what's what's he got to say i feel terrible if it doesn't if i don't find some meds i will die i have no idea all right well we'll give antoine some meds we got an extra one here anton come use the meds you go lay down um you come cook food no not her not the one standing up you idiot module god there's one up the wall Make this, please. Okay, we got 12 food. Okay, Anton. No, no, no. You're not going anywhere. Okay, eat. Might be best to raise the temp even higher. Okay. 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 Go get the rat trap. You can eat. He's not wounded anymore, which is good. I'm all dizzy, barely standing. I think he threw up there? Okay. And then cook uh, two of these. Get this. Like that. Okay, you can go sit down now, Anton. Just burn the cellar? I don't think it quite works that way. Okay, where are we at on fuel? Oh, we're out of fuel. Okay, well, we'll have to make some more of that. Luckily, we still have quite a bit of wood, so. Uh, we'll make uh, 14 of them, and that'll leave us with 30 wood. If you're worried about it, Antoine, you can turn the fire up, okay? Okay. If I don't get a cure, I'm done. That's why you're on meds, jerk face. Shut up. Okay, great. You're done sleeping? Fantastic. Um, come down here. You can go and lay in the bed. Okay. All the saws. We're getting low on components again, though. Stay in bed. I clicked on him. It's not my fault this stupid module won't let me change to the other person for no freaking reason. Okay, it doesn't look like uh, Franco's coming today. Okay, we got fuel. Oh, yeah, I need you guys to eat. Uh, come eat. And once you're done with that, you can go eat. Okay. Um. I 
only thing I'm not sure about. Hmm. I don't know if I should put more fuel in this. How high do these go? Five, I'm assuming? I mean, five makes sense to me. Six is the max? Oh, okay. Well, let's do one more then. See if that's enough to at least try to get us up into the 60 range. Wow, they're putting off some smoke. I'll tell you that much. Four or five might be needed for the night. Okay. Dang, it's just not going up. It's just too cold. I mean, it's actively blizzarding outside, I guess, but... Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, it's shooting up now. What does... It took a second for the module to realize, oh, wait, we actually put fuel in the fire. All right. All right. Um, it always takes a sec. Yeah. All right. So where are we sending Erica tonight? I feel like we need to leave Anton here to sleep. And if we can keep the temperature up this high enough where it's considered warm, hopefully he'll recover. Um. We're just getting low on components. I don't know where we send her. I don't know. Okay, well this dropped to three, but temps is holding, so I'm gonna try to save it. That'll go down? Oh, okay. Ah, well we didn't get there in time. All right, I mean we could take her back to the uh, semi-detached house and have her uh, break into that one room with a crowbar. And then we can steal from the basement. That'd probably be okay. At least for tonight. Hopefully Franco will show up tomorrow and then maybe we can get some components from him since we're getting kind of low. Components and maybe some fuel. Um, I mean, we can go back to Sniper Junction, but I'm assuming the rest of the stuff in the house is gonna count as theft. Or is that the only guy living in that building and everything else is free, you know, free to take? Because, I mean, it shows there's a lot of stuff there. Oh, oh, I guess it's this one. Oh, huge amounts of foods and meds. So the rest of it's probably all stealing. So the whole apartment at Jump Cyber Junction is free to take. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Hmm. No one is actively living in it anymore. Oh, okay. So yeah, maybe what we do is we go to the semi-detached house with a crowbar and break into that one room and steal some stuff. And then uh, we can go over to Sniper Junction tomorrow. Uh, make it over to the the uh, al or through the sewer. Clean up a bunch of that uh, apartment building and leave with that. We'll need a crowbar and saw still. Yeah, yeah, I know we need the crowbar. We, we, we saw that one door that was locked. Oh no, he opened the one door, but... Yeah, we'll still take a crowbar and a saw. That makes sense. And then um, see what we can get out of there. I mean, it says amounts of food and meds and nothing else, but it seems like it's almost impossible for there not be something else there. Yeah, we'll go do the semi-detached house thing tonight. Uh, oh, it's already 6.17. All right. Um, and we're all okay with me wrapping it up at 7 instead of 8 since we moved it forward another half hour? Um, let's see. So I need the crowbar tonight, and I guess that's basically it, right? So we weren't planning on trading with them tonight. It's mostly breaking into that room and then going and stealing from the basement of the of for that from them. All right. Oh, we still have yeah ten bullets. Okay. Wiki says two saws for sniper junction. All right. I swear it's just one, but well, I mean we can take two. Your times mean nothing to me. I mean, it's six. It's six eighteen p.m. right now. 
we started three hours ago, and I usually do this stream for at least four hours. So another 45 minutes will be four hours. Also, yeah, time is good. Okay. I know both of you are tired. So, yes, it's 2.18 a.m. That's what I'm saying. I'm actively saying I will, I'm will. i starting the stream earlier, and I'm ending it earlier for, for both of your sake. To increase the amount of sleep you both can get and not have to worry about missing the stream. I'm doing it for you, you lovelies. All of you. <laughs> all right. Um, so, yeah, we can break. We can break into that one room, get that, and then steal stuff from the basement and see what we walk away with. I mean, we'll be able to survive for a couple days if we don't get a ton of stuff right now. But at a minimum, we want to do this. So. <laughs> banned in ending the stream. I mean, it's banned for five minutes, and I wasn't planning on ending it in five minutes. So. But that's not in module. That's also true. I can only ban stuff. You can only ban stuff that's in module. That'd be like the equivalent of like, yeah, you're banned from breathing for five minutes. Like, that doesn't work. I just pass out and die. And then who's going to stream? Huh? They're not going to bring Rong from, from uh, social media down here and have him stream. <laughs> I can ban 41 more times. I mean, probably with the points. Unless the mantra is literally the streaming software, too. No, no. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, my God. I didn't realize there was this much in here. I just thought it was the fridge. Oh, food and water. Okay, we can use that. I thought it was just that fridge we were looting. <laughs> Two pieces of wood. Kind of useless, but all right. No, oh, gun part. Really? Okay, I didn't expect gun parts in here. And a rolled-up cigarette, I guess. Okay. Take this apart. Might as well. While we're here. I don't think there's anything in here, right? I think if we came back with a hatchet, we'd have some at least stuff to break down in here, which is nice. But no, no, I use independent uh, stuff for that. For peace and freedom. Cheers. Okay. Down down there. So we just walk up here now. Oh, we can actually need to break into this? Wait, wasn't this open before? I swear there was a cabinet here we could steal from. That's weird. Might be worth saving up some more weapon parts for a second hatchet. Maybe. These pictures got all dusty. There was a, I swear to God, there was a cabinet right here we could have stolen from. They must have moved it when I left. I had no idea that was a thing they would do. I swear, yeah, I swear right here was a cabinet. They must have moved it when they saw that someone had punched through this stuff. Only thing I can think of. They went upstairs. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like literally they brought this cabinet out of the basement up here where it was safer or something. I think that's what they did. Oh, it's all bullets and stuff? Psh. I don't even know what's going to be the most value. Are the hand, are these even worth anything? This is worth a decent amount. I mean, the seven bullets are worth quite a bit. Um, Probably leave the cigarette. I don't think the cigarette's worth very much, right? The bullets mainly? Oh, okay. Of everything there, the bullet, the the cigarettes seem like the least worth it, and it's gonna be a, an interesting surprise when they come to get their bullets and all they find is a single cigar, a single homemade cigarette. Instead, they're gonna be very confused. But yeah, I'll leave this behind. We need this. We need this. This is kind of optional, but I think it's more value than that. 
way more value probably more value maybe not worth it maybe worth it uh more value way more value um also more important right now because we need all the wood we can get and then um obviously the crowbar we're not leaving that yeah that's good okay okay let's just uh well, what's what's over here doesn't look like much oh oh no, no he's going that way just gonna do a little robbing oh my okay Ooh, there's just a bunch of stuff in here, hey? On the third floor? Yeah. Trade the electrical parts for four cogs? The, oh, yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. So take the meds, you think? Like this? This med or like these? I mean, we're getting two of these for one of these. Otherwise, we could grab four components. Purple would be better for trading, but regular would be better for your survivors. Okay. Yeah, we'll take that then. I think that's it. You think ditch the helmet and get both? That's true. I guess we don't really. Need, I don't know how much the helmet's worth. It doesn't seem like much, and we're not gonna fix it. So, uh, the herbal meds. Yeah, because I mean the rest of this stuff we kind of need, right? Like food we need, the gun parts we need, wood we need. This I mean is not a not a ton, but it's still good to trade. Helm is worth 7.5. 7. Oh, okay. I mean, I feel like the herbal meds are probably going to be worth that much or more, right? Even if these are worth one, that's more. These are worth, like, what, 3.5 a piece, so that's worth more. These, I don't know how much they trade for, and we just need water. You know, whatever. All right. We'll take this, and then we'll leave. If we need to come back and steal more stuff, I guess we can. Herbal meds is worth 21 each? Oh, God. Okay, yeah. Way more value. All right. I'm just going to shut that door behind me. All right, let's get out of here, team. Sneaky, sneaky Erica. Yeah. They did not see... They did not notice me downstairs. All right. So we did a little bit of thieving. That went very well. Yeah, that was a good get. And in theory, unless something changes, we could probably come back and steal some more stuff if we need to. Though at this point, we could also bring back a hatchet and see what we could break down. I don't know what what all counts. Like, maybe this cabinet and maybe some of this stuff in the kitchen. Because, I mean, just having more wood is going to be good because we are burning through, like, fuel sources really quickly right now. Day 28. I made it. I brought the meds. And just leave it at that. Don't want to mention the stealing. That's fair. Anton is feeling much better. We just need to keep an eye on him. That's great. And then this is all the stuff we brought back. Also good. All right. Go lay down. Uh, Anton. Why are you sad? What? Perhaps we shouldn't have stolen, but how else can we survive? Really? Really? Okay, sure, bud. Apparently, he is very butthurt that we stole. I'm glad I have this book. Temperature is dropping pretty rapidly in here. No, Erica, stay in bed. For the love of God. I had to steal. We need supplies, and it's so hard to get them otherwise. Oh, my God. Is everyone seriously so butthurt about this? Really? Really? Honestly, I think the food you have is enough to last the end of the module. You think so? All right. I mean, we have, like, we have a full rotation of this, and this will give us, what, three days? Or three three meal packets? Okay. We'll just make one of these. I'm going to go sit down. 
How much water do I have, though? We have 23 water. So what is that? That's six. That would be five days. Five cookings worth. Paired with the rat traps, probably. Oh, uh, well, that's, that makes sense, yeah. Um, what am I at? I've got one weapon part right now, so I don't have enough for a hatchet. Or a second hatchet, I guess. Um, how many do we need for a hatchet? Is it three? F oh my god, we need five for a hatchet? Oh, jeez. Alright. Five for a second hatchet, okay. Um, hungry, sick, and sad. Look, I get it, but we stole from people who were jerks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We can cry over stealing once we survive this. Yeah. Exactly. What matters is that we have supplies. How we got them is of a less concern. Look, it's not like there's going to be something we're going to do all the time. Plus, those guys are upcharging us up the, up the, the, up the butt right now. Shouldn't have ripped you off so much. Exactly. Exactly, Ica. Exactly. Frankie gives you better deals and has free delivery. <laughs> That's true. It's a bonus that he, we don't have to risk our lives uh, to, to deal with Franco. He's got better better deals and he delivers. How could Erica leave those people with almost nothing? He, We didn't. They have plenty of stuff. Hey, Franco, we were just talking about how cool you are. How are you doing? Speak of the devil, exactly. Oh, yes. Oh, oh my God. He's got all kinds of food. Oh, lordy lord. Oh, my God. He's got three gun parts. Franco, just one weapon part shy of the five you need. Yeah, unfortunately. Dang, Franco. Dang. Dang. <laughs> Danko Franco here with the good stuff today. Dang, Franco. Dang. Dang, Franco. Dang, Franco. Showing up with all that good stuff. Dang, Frank. Dang, Frank. Okay. Now, how, how crazy do we want to get with the cheese whiz on this? Like, do we... I mean, we need components, but we don't need a ton of component, components, right? Because we're kind of low. Like, maybe what we, we do... Hold on. Let me cut this back. Well, maybe we do 12. We get the gun parts. And then uh, we want this. Then what do we want to do? Should I get some more food? Or do you think we're good? You think this will take us to the end? Because we're on, what, day 28? And we got to make it to, what, 40? Um, we've got enough for, what, what did I say? We got enough for three more foods. Three times two, that's six. So that'll take us up to the 34th day. After that, we're still kind of floating. So I don't know if we need more food or not. Grabbing veggies should be fine. Probably won't need to buy raw meat. Okay. Because, okay. I mean, we've also got another rotation of this. So that would be, f what, f or four? That would be eight days. So that would take us up to the 36th. Um, and if we keep the rat traps rotating, that would probably rotate us in enough food to get us all the way up to 40. And if 40 is the longest it'll go, we should be fine. Then. Um. Okay. Now I'm just thinking about what else we need, though. Like, we got meds for, for what's-his-face. Okay, so that's where we're kind of at on that. So, do you think we just get wood from this? The longest run, base runs go in 45 days, I think. Oh, okay. Um, I guess the question then becomes... Do I want more components? Or, hmm. How well, much wood do you have? I have, currently I have 32 wood and 8 fuel. Because he said fuel and wood trade at the same rate, right? 
I mean, if nothing else, the other thing we can do is we can send Erica with a hatchet to the apartment. We still have that the sniper apartment to take apart. And the building across from the training apartment. Both of those we could take a hatchet to and see how, how that turns out. Um, we still have the guitar. I just don't know if it's worth the 10 wood. I guess we'll have to see if we make it through winter. And if things go back to being warm, uh, we, we can actually afford the 10 wood to get this fixed. And then we can have Roman playing it during the day when he's not sleeping. I think you have enough fuel to get, get one more weapon part for another hatchet. Enough fuel to get one more weapon part for another hatchet. Well, we bought all of his, his weapon parts. What do you mean? I think you can have enough fuel to get one more weapon part for another hatchet. Why, I mean, oh, you mean like the wood? Like we have enough wood to make one more hatchet? Because it was five weapon parts and what, what was it? Like five wood to make it? So you're saying I don't need to get more wood to make a hatchet? I mean, if we wanted to go total, like, wild hogs on it, we have the, the rubies. You won't burn through 32 wood in the time you have your next Franco visit, where he hopefully has at least one weapon part. That's true. Yeah. Um, hmm. I mean, okay, so in that case, what do I need? Like, plus you still have a little usage on your old axe. Yeah. So I guess in that case, what we do, I mean, we probably still need these components, right? Should I maybe get less components and take a little bit more wood? Like, like maybe we get four and then we go like six wood instead. Cause I mean, we needed the components to make gun parts, right? Or to make saws. But if we're going to be using this next round of, 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 gun parts to make a uh, an axe we we really don't need them right now and if we can wait and winter goes away and they go back down in price there's no reason to like overcommit now we would take a huge loss on them right up to you okay oh wow so those are really expensive then huh okay we have a deal on that Okay, so we're at the limit right here. Yeah, wood is super expensive right now. Hmm. Uh, maybe we do... I assume the fuel costs just the same, right? Because don't they... Doesn't this, like, double or triple, and then this is quadruple, so that they're even? They both cost the same amount? Hmm. I mean, the other option is that we just... Oh, God. Let me see. We're at 32. That would give us 36. If we're burning through, say... Food is going to cost us four... That would cost us four. And if we're burning through two fuel, that's basically like six a day. So we'll say eight every two days. That would give us, what, three days worth of fuel right now? Wooden fuel costs 1.5 by default, and they triple, I think. Oh, okay, books two, components double. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Because, I mean, if we're going through eight of them basically every two days, we've got six days worth then right here. So, I mean, that'll be enough time till Franco shows up again and we can get wood off of him. Because he usually always has wood and components. Everything else is kind of in flux, but I think he almost always shows up with wood and components. I mean, we have five jewels to trade if things get really hairy. Plus the 18 bullets we've got now, so. Hmm. And the eight fuel, which is where we're burning our wood from. So, that gets us another, another two days. So, that would be eight days, basically. Eight days we could go without any more wood or fuel from anybody. 
Um, and that's about how much food we've got. That's uh, four rotations. Yeah, so we basically have just enough wood. We have enough fuel and water to get through about another eight day, or f yeah, food, water, and fuel to get through eight days, basically, worth of of uh, stuff before we need to buy something else. So I guess if we wait until if we see if eight days the weather goes back and stuff stops costing so much. Hmm. And we know we can go get wood. I mean, if we can get a surplus of wood. I think winter usually lasts like 10 days. Let me see what Wiki says. Because I think it started on what? Day 25? So, or no, no. I think it was day 26. Because they talked about it getting cold, I think, around day 24. And I think it actually started, actually, Blizzard was two days ago. So we'd have to make it to day 36, which would be right at the end. If it's 10 days, it'll be right at the end of our our current survive like current supplies. Hmm. I mean, we can go get more wood. Components double. So components double. If they're usually worth one, hold on. Let me see what Franco's doing. So one. Oh wait, wait, wait. we've seen one of these. Okay, so they're doubled up. The, so that would be instead of one, that's two. That's six. That would be eight. If that's seven point five, we have a deal. Okay, yeah, so he's literally not charging us an upcharge on this. He's literally giving this for face value. He's charging this at literally double. So these are all worth, these are each worth two right now instead of the normal one on this. Okay, that's actually good to know. All right, so yeah, we just snag this. We take like a stack of components. Four will make two saws worth. I don't know about the wood. Yeah, maybe what we do, maybe this is it. Maybe we just trade for this. Okay, how much food do I got? I got 13 food. If I can get it up to, I would need 15, and then the veggies will buy us a second one, and that would get us a whole nother rotation. Right. Yeah, about 10 days, okay. I think we do something like this. Really? That's still not enough? Are you kidding? Well, actually, you know what? We have more of this. So, I mean, this will buy us another day's, another, like, rotation of food with, with what we've got. So this will get us basically to 16 food. That's four days worth of food. That's not including the stuff the rats are going to give us. Um, that's going to use each day is four water. So that would be four times four is 16 water. Minus one or whatever, but that's not a big deal. So we have that. 16, that's going to be 16 of these. That would leave us with another 16 for... Uh, another 24 for just keeping the place heated. If we're going through like two of those a day, that would be like 12, 12 days worth. Um, and I mean the components, we only need those to make more saws when that comes around. We still have 10. So I think we're good. I think if I do this, this little breakdown right here, I think this little bit of extra food and this extra components should be enough to get us through 
at least till hopefully winter ends. We'll still have the five rubies, 18 bullets to trade. Um, in theory, we have the components or the electrical parts to sell, the guitar, and the shotgun. All of that we could break down or uh, sell. Um, yeah, I think if we do this, we'll be set. I think this, I don't think you need the extra raw meat, to be honest. Okay, okay, if you don't think so. Hey, you just remind me, when we get to day 44 and everyone starves to death, I'm going to turn to you, Ika, and I'm going to stare real hard at your name on this list over here. And I'm going to be like, Ika, I'm going to do that ro that motion right there. And that's how you're going to know. It's it's your it's your fault. As long as you can live with these, these four people dying of starvation, I'm fine with it. These four digital people. Now, obviously, it's not real people. But All right. Um. Okay. So that's impressive, but we're not doing that now. <laughs> okay. That won't do. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'm just going to. Okay. Okay. That won't do. Okay. So we'll just do this. We'll get some components just because we're kind of low on components. <laughs> the Ica let me down face. Yeah. Just the, um, all right. So we'll do, we'll do this. We're taking a bit of a loss on the components, but not a ton. It's not terrible. Um, basically all we need to do, we need Franco to show up with weapon parts so we can make another hatchet. I mean, you have 20 food, which is five days. Well, we don't have 20 food. I have 13 food. I guess if you count all of this, yeah, which is five days. Which is 10 days, <laughs> which is five food days, which is 10 days, which already puts you near the 40s before you add in rats. I guess that's true. I guess if we mix them all together, we would be getting into about day, what would that be? Day 38 mixed with the rat food would get us up until probably about 40. Um, but only about 40 at best. All right, we'll take this deal. And we'll be set for a while. We'll have 10 days. Plus, I remember there's still lots of food at the sniper junction. Yeah, we haven't really broken into anything there. So depending on what it what it gives us. Because I think when I clicked on it, it said lots of food. Food and meds or something like that. But Okay. Anything else? No, no, we're done. Thank you, though. All right. Rather chilly inside. We should think about heating. Shut up. Shut your stupid face, Bruno. Eat the sniper? I mean, technically, that's an option in real life. Just shut up, Bruno. Shut your mouth about eating. Or about heat. All right? I'm doing the best I can. All right. Go go sleep, please. Is robbery the only way to get what we need? No, it's not. It's just we were taking back what we're owed. They're overcharging us. I mean, you can eat the sniper bullets. It'll just kill you. I mean, that's one way to save food, right? Okay, just go sit down. You can go sit down. Just be recovering, old man. I don't know. I guess you're sad because you, we stole or whatever, but... Okay, so we can't make a hatchet, but we can take a hatchet with us. Uh, so we'll go to, a, a, we'll go to the uh, sniper apartment tonight. We can make a crowbar. That's all components for a crowbar? Oh, God. Um... You can eat anything once. I, exactly. It's a trick I can only do it once. I mean, at least you didn't steal from the elderly couple. Right. We didn't steal from the elderly couple or the people who are living with their, like, elders in the apartment complex. Even, I mean, I think that's available now. I know it was blocked off, but I think we could, we could have gone there. So we didn't steal from them. The only people we've stolen from so far, I believe, are just the, the people in the, the trading apartment or the, uh, the trading duplex or whatever it's called. Or the homeless, right? No, we didn't steal from the homeless. We never took anything from the homeless people either. I mean, I wouldn't, I wasn't planning on it. I might have gone in and broken down some of the garbage there, but I wasn't planning on stealing anything from them. All right. Um, what's left on the hatchet? Hatchet's pretty worn out. But yeah, we'll go to the apartment. We'll break into the apartment with the two saws. And then, um, we'll clean out what we can there. We've got enough food and water and fuel for a few days. 
we can keep going back and stealing stuff and or and use the hatchet to break stuff down until uh yeah um uh franco shows up again i hope we'll manage to keep it warm here we have plenty of we have plenty of fuel we have two upgraded furnaces it's fine We're lucky it's not cold in here. I know that. I'm working very hard to make that not be the situation. They just say that like there isn't someone actively trying to keep them alive. Like, wow, it sure is lucky that we're so good at this. It's like, no. Actually, it's not luck at all. It's taking basically two, two adults to keep you four adults alive. But at least we have more meds if we need to give it to this guy. We need food. We do not need food. We basically, in real life, we would have... That's 20 days. If we ate every day, one meal a day, we have 20... That's t that's 20 days worth of food. Calm down. With five of... That's literally five days worth of food if we ate a meal every day. We have food. Calm down. My stomach is rumbling. We'll eat tomorrow. We eat every other day. We eat on odd days. I don't understand why this is a problem for you all. This is like dealing with that guy from Fallout uh, Honest Hearts. The, the, what's his name? Like, does well with the machines or whatever. I don't remember what his name is. We are burning through so much fuel, though. I think we've used four today just keeping the furnaces going. So is this just to collect snow to melt it? Is that how that works? So what happens if I try to run the... It's completely frozen. I'm better just gather some snow and melt it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. It's snowing and not raining. So does it, does it turn out the same thing? Like you collect the snow and then you melt it and you get four water from that? All right, day's about to end. Building is warm. Grandpa is recovering. He's sad, but you know, that's fine with me. Everyone else is healthy and not sad. Yeah, it costs you fuel plus filter just versus just a filter. Right. Okay. Okay, scavenge. You're on guard duty as usual. Sleep in a bed. Okay, guard duty, scavenge. So we're going back to Sniper Junction. Yeah, it says huge amount of food and a huge amount of meds. So I guess we'll see what's actually there. Because sometimes that huge amount of food and huge amount of meds also means there's like building components that they're not mentioning there, but that's fine. Um, all right. So Sniper Junction, we try not to die. And we go, we got to take two saws with us, right? It's saying two saws. You can cut through metal bars and chains to get to the other otherwise inaccessible places. Yeah, that's what Wiki says. All right, we'll give it a shot and see. I mean, even if all we do is we use one saw... And we have to come back with a with a, a a crowbar next time. That's also fine. It's not that big a deal, right? All right, but we'll take the two saws and see if we can't break into this place. I mean, dodging the snipers isn't that hard if you understand the mechanic. Which, of course, there's no tutorial or anything. So, and I think Anna, uh, Erica here is is. Oh, I think this guy also died, by the way. Erica's joints aren't as worn out? Yeah. I don't hear sniper fire.
Okay, there's nobody out right now, so you'll just have to run. Okay. So just go for it and hope for the best? That seems incredibly dangerous. He only starts shooting when he sees someone, basically. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks like this guy who was over here died. <laughs> so is this like one of those things where I should go out and then come back and then go? Or should I just go for it? I think just go for it. All right, let's hope Erica doesn't die. Run, Erica, run. Good work, Erica, good work. All right. So yeah, there's basically a full rotation of his normal shooting between um, Nothing in here, really? Okay. Um, when you run out and um, him shooting. It'd be about the same distance if you turned around. Yeah. Okay, so this is this guy's house. It looks like he left. Oh, do I? Oh, okay. Well, there's a crowbar I definitely need. There's one. So the wiki was at least wrong about that. Ika, if you'd like to uh, word a very strongly worded email to them. Actually, no, since there's a hole in the ground. Oh, there is. There's a saw blade. Let's get cooking. C cutting. Okay, more. Oh, look, a bunch of food. Okay, great. You can enter from the very bottom floor, though. Oh, is that what's going on? Okay. Ooh. Okay, some uh, fertilizer. Ah, okay, there's the second one. Back room. that. Okay, let's go use this other saw while we're here. Oh, the door is barred up. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. So there's a hole in the floor down here? Ah. She, there's nothing, okay, sure. There was nothing down there that she jumped off of, by the way. Okay, so there's still some meds here. I have to climb up to the next saw spot like that too. Okay, well, we don't have time for that right now, but next time we know when we come back to get the rest of this stuff, we know we can do that. Leave the saw hanger. Oh, that's actually true. I guess we could. Um, it's kind of obnoxious that they go away. Oh, this is going to take a... Oh, this is going to be close. Okay, just leave the saw here and bring the bandages. Yeah, there's. she's not climbing on anything. There's nothing there. That's what's throwing me off. Okay, it's 5 a.m., right? So he's using her epic parkour skills off the wall, I guess? Okay, so he can see me. eat like a root yeah basically all right so we got a bunch of stuff there the food will help we got two veggies which is nice this is good for the trade this is good for the trade this is for uh, anton 
Uh, coffee beans for trading, just food trade, and then this is for the rats. So, I'd say overall that was a pretty good uh, little situation. I mean, if we still had access to the hospital, we could go to the hospital and trade all these bandages for stuff. But, unfortunately, I can't get to the hospital two times in a row now. Day 29. Okay, this will this is probably where we should call it. Um Yeah. Where are we at? Oh yeah, we're only three minutes shy of four hours. Yeah, we can call it here. How I wanna see how Anton's doing. Hungry and sick, but he's not sad anymore. Okay, great. Alright. So yeah, we got a pretty big advantage there. Oh, legs like a roux, yeah. All right, cool. Um, yes. Perfect. That's perfect timing. Okay, so Sniper Junction is dangerous, but it's not impossible. Like, I was kind of worried it was going to be. Um, all right. So, what did we learn? Um, so, what did we learn? So, what did we learn tonight? We learned that uh, the snow sucks. Snow sucks. Uh... Snow sucks. And and upgraded upgraded furnace furnace aren't aren't that upgraded. Um let's see. <laughs> Saying goodbye to okay, I will not say to goodbye to Ica for the next five minutes. It's 7 p.m., so we have five minutes I cannot say goodbye to Ika. So, Ika, if you choose to leave, that's on you. But I, I'm, not, I'm, not letting, I'm not saying goodbye. You'll have to leave me behind. Um, okay, so snow sucks and upgraded furnaces aren't that upgraded, it doesn't feel like. Um, let's see. What else? Um, uh, <laughs> Grandpa... <laughs> Grandpa, even a even a grandpa, even a grandpa, grandpa can outrun sniper fire. Sniper, even a grandpa with a cold, with a cold, can outrun, outrun sniper fire. Uh, let's see what else. Um. Um. Franco is a cool uh, Franco Franco is a cool dude uh who won't who who does his best to not rip you off off so Franco's cool like that Anton may or may not catch rats better by using his math wizardry that's exactly it um for we've learned that further research research is needed about Anton's use of math uh, math wizardry math wizardry uh, for catching rats more research is needed <laughs> he dazzles them with his trigonometry yeah what he does is he, he uses like um, he uses trig but he uses it to make hyper realistic pictures of cheese and um, uh, peanut butter. And then he puts the picture on the trap and they're like, oh my God, it's actual cheese. And then they run out and they eat the picture of the fake cheese. And they're like, whoa, that's weird. This is fake cheese. And then they get hit with a trap, you know, that's what they should do is that just if every, for every two traps, you need one less m food or if you have two traps, you only need to use one food to set both of them due to his weird math wizardry powers. Uh, further research is needed about Anton's use of math wizardry for rats. Okay, so the four things we learned are snow sucks and upgraded furnaces don't feel like they're upgraded. Uh, even a grandpa with a cold can outrun sniper fire. No real problem. Uh, Franco is a cool dude who does his best to not rip you off. Like the price changes affect him. But he's not really giving you, he's not really taking much extra off the top compared to all the other merchants, really. Mathematicians doing anything other than that are wasting their time. <laughs> what, what's that? You're inventing rocket ships and the internet and all this other important stuff. But are you figuring out how to trick rats into eating fake pictures of food? 
plus free delivery. Right. And that's why Franco is a cool dude. Um, and then let's see. Further research is needed about Anton's use of math wizardry to capture Ratch. We're not 100% sure if that helps or not. It seems like it might, but then other times it doesn't. It's real all over the place. He's going to continue doing it, and we'll see how for over the course of the rest of this run, how many more times the rat traps go off after he touches them, but we will see. But yeah, those are the four things we learned uh, tonight. Uh, let's see. What else? Uh, let's see. Scheduling next week, 3 p.m. here on Twitch. We will continue with uh, this War of Mine. Um, we might actually see this one through to the end. We're ahead on water and food and fuel, kind of. Uh, so hopefully we can see this one to the end. If we can get like one more gun part and another hatchet, I think we'll be set. Because then we can go through and start breaking down some of these places we've been and just taking wood out of them. So I think probably two more streams. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I mean, if we're on day, what, 29 now? Um, and we got to make it to maybe day 45 and we're going through like six to seven days a week or six or seven weeks or days a stream. That would be 14, which would take us up to 42. So I could see us probably getting through it. If, if we don't have to go all the way to 45, uh, we might be able to get it done in about two streams. I could see that. Um, but yeah, next week, 3 p.m. here on Twitch. Uh, two days from today, uh, Thursday at 3.30 or at 3 p.m., we continue our playthrough of Earthbound. Uh, last week, we burnt through, I think, three sanctuary locations very rapidly. And we are currently in, uh, we're back in summers after going on a whirlwind trip of other places. And we're about to take leave and go fight the Kraken on our way to what appears to be some sort of um, Egyptian themed or like Arabian themed location where we are going to be dealing with pyramids and an ancient lost society that lost to the guy, I guess, the last time he showed up like a, a thousand or 10,000 years ago or whatever they said. Um, but yeah, that'll be Earthbound at 3 p.m. on Thursday. Uh, Saturday, 10, uh, 10.30 a.m., we'll have more of Fallout New Vegas uh, Old World Blues, where we're, I think we're almost done. It seems like we're most of the way through the main story of that. The rest of it's probably going to be mopping up some of the side locations and maybe some of the side quests we can do there. And then uh, after that, depending on how much time we have left, we can either start doing some ca casino gambling stuff, or maybe we we end the stream early and we just jump right into uh, Eternal Evil a little earlier. Uh, either way, we'll be at at least 2.30 p.m. We'll switch over to Eternal Evil and continue playing through that. Um, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm actually enjoying the heck out of that module. Uh, the puzzle stuff is fun and challenging, but not too over the top. I don't feel like there's a ton of backtracking. They did a really good job with the magical teleporting chests so far. Uh, the combat has been fun, uh, not super challenging, but fun in that kind of way where you're like, this is silly, but a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to playing some more of that at, at, a, at the latest 2.30, we'll switch over. Rubik's Cube on Sunday in, our own, in your own, own time? What? Rubik's Cube on Sunday. I mean, if you want to play with a Rubik's Cube on Sunday, you go for it. But uh, yeah, this week, due to uh, American Easter, we'll be pushing back uh, Sunday's... Um, Penumbra, uh, Penumbra 3, I can't remember what it's called now. We'll be pushing that that Puzzle Sunday back to Monday. Uh, we'll be doing that at 3 p.m. also. Um, unfortunately, I have family stuff to do. So, I don't, I guess, I guess Rubik's Cube is technically a puzzle. I'm terrible at Rubik's Cube. But would you really want to sit here for like three hours and watch me try to solve a Rubik's Cube? For American Jesus? Yeah. We're celebrating Jesus' resurrection, right? I think that's what I think that's what Easter's for. It's, it's the resurrection. Christmas is as for his birth and the resurrection. Um yes, I would. And Ica's birthday, of course, too, but unfortunately I couldn't I don't think I could convince my whole family to celebrate that. I could celebrate that by myself. Oh, that's what I should do on Monday. Ica. Should we celebrate your birthday on Monday? Eka. Eka, do you want me to celebrate your birthday on Monday? When we do the when we do the makeup stream. We did it for Noel. I can totally do it for you too. Um, I mean I still have I still have more party time blaster uh confetti here. We can do it. I'm telling you, we could do it. 
the second coming of Ica. Ica's return. Ica two. Ica. I don't can't even say that out. I can't even say that. Nope. Um. But yeah. So uh, Sunday is pushed to. I mean, sure. Okay. Ooh, what am I gonna do? Oh, you know what I can do? I can pick up some stuff after work on Sunday before I go to dinner stuff. I can get a, oh, yes. I think I still got, I'll have to look around and see what I've got here at the office and what I need to bring in. I think I've still got some of those really cool, um, the sparkler things I can put on top of it. I don't really have any drinks or whatever I'd have to recommend. You don't have to recommend anything. I'll just get to, I'll get us a nice little personal cake thing like I did for, uh, I swear I'm not an Elks and I'll, I'll put my, my two sparklers in it and, uh, we'll light some sparklers and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll every hour we'll fire off the confetti gun and, uh, we'll make a little event out of it. And for, in this case, I won't have to drink, you know, uh, two full pitchers of, uh, Prims, right? Cause I mean, Ica doesn't drink. Is there something else you would recommend? Should I drink like... I have no idea what you're doing, no elk. Ica with a two I C two C. I can't type on. <laughs> I think I swear I'm not an elk needs to go to bed. I think you're very tired. I swear I'm not an elk. It's okay. We're at the end of the stream. It's okay. You can go to bed now. You're not gonna miss anything. I pr I promise. Oh, Ica two 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 Ick two two C. <laughs> two ick two two ick two k is that what you're trying to go for ick a two two ick two k try out yolk and resume i guess and Ra ramoon i guess touch screen on chromebook oh yeah no i hate i hate i hate touch screen stuff Ugh, it drives me up the wall I miss my old cell phones where I had buttons, actual physical buttons. Yes, that. Okay. The cult will be good for your, your gut health, which will be good side benefit. Yeah. Yeah, I can get some more uh, cult and uh, yakult. And uh, Ramoon, I guess. Yeah, we can grab some more Ramoon. I mean, Ramoon's good. Make him drink an egg. Oh, God, no. I'm not. I'm not going to torture myself. What do I look like? Uh, floppity penguin over here? No, 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 no. I'll get things and I'll try them, but I'm not going to get things I actively know I'm going to hate. Ugh, I know you already had Calpico on stream before. Yes, yes, we did Calpico. I think we did three varieties, didn't we? I know we did a, a couple of different varieties of Calpico. So, E, okay. Uh, but yeah, I can get some uh, Yakult or whatever that is, y Yakult. And uh, Rame. Though I, I know I've done Rame on stream. Because remember we had that debate about whether or not it had something to do with lemonade. And everyone said it didn't. And I said it did. And everyone got very upset at me. I remember that. I remember that. <clears throat> drink some milk? I, I like milk. I'll drink milk. That's why I have such super dense bones. Is I drank too much milk as a kid. I don't think it was on stream, but yeah, there was that discussion. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what it was. Um, but yeah, so maybe on Monday we'll be doing a celebration for Ika's birthday. Um, I will be drinking some randomly assigned things to me that I can pick up at the grocery store, and we'll have a little cake and sparklers. It could go get some milk right now. The cult would be the yogurt drinks. Okay, I'll, I'll make sure to try to look around and see if I can find that. I have time between when I get off of work and when the, the Easter stuff happens, so I'll have time to grab some stuff before I leave. I mean, it's going to be super busy that day, but once I'm off the clock, it's whatever, right? Um, I have 1.5 gallons of clearance milk in my fridge slash freezer as it is. <laughs> I got it today. Oh, is that your? Is that the Ica? Oh, before we leave, we got to get Ica's deal of the day. What did you get, Ica, right before we leave? Our exiting, our exiting gift for all of our viewers today. What was, what was the last thing that you had on the way out? Twelve drink. <laughs> what are you waiting for, fool? Drink the milk. It's got all the vitamins and the antidotes. The what? The antioxidants. I didn't poison you. 
God, what was that show? Was it Detective Conan? Conan? A dollar twenty each for three half gallon organic milks with omega three. Wow, that's a screaming good deal. Yeah, usually that organic milk stuff's pretty expensive. But there's an episode I think of its investigator or uh, Detective Conan, um, the anime, where a mother poisons all of the cake. And then puts the antidote, or no, no, she poisons all the drinks for all the kids at a party. And then puts the antidote in the chocolate cake that she knows everyone will eat but her son. And then everyone eats the chocolate cake and gets the antidote, but her son dies. Omega-3 is fish, right? Well, I mean, oil stuff, yeah. <laughs> what kind of lizard birds are you? <laughs> Look, Ika's part Japanese. He's he Japanese people love fish. I mean, I like fish too, and I'm not Japanese. I'm German. Oh. Best source of it of it, yeah, which I have tons of now, so I'll be overdosing on it. Well, I've, it's probably better to overdose than underdose, right? As long as it's not sodium or sugar. Luckily, your body's you most people's bodies are very good at processing out extra like vitamins and minerals and stuff. So, but yeah, so Monday, uh, 3, 3 p.m., we will do uh, the makeup stream for the Miss Sunday stuff and celebrate Ika's birthday, um, where we'll be playing through more of um, Penumbra 3, uh, which is all all puzzles and all lore. There's no, there's no, go milk a salmon. Gross! No, don't milk a salmon. I don't know what that process looks like, but I don't want to see it, and I don't think you should do it. Um, also, yeah, if you want to get caught up on this, of course, we have the YouTube repository, Raven Hillbrook Inc. Links for that are in chat and on the info page. Everything I create gets lightly edited and put up there. I'm going to have the stuff from Saturday. I got the stuff from Saturday edited. I'm going to put it up to today after the stream. So all that will be caught up, and then, of course, we'll get tonight's stream up there. Uh, we've got the, the Discord. Links for that are in chat and on the info page. General discussion, recommendations. Do you want to see me say, play something specific? Uh, well, adios. Okay, Kevin, uh, sleep well, uh, not elk. Uh, hope to see you back on Thursday for Earthbound. Um, bye, Ica. Have a good night. The five minutes has elapsed, so I can say good, thank you and good night to Ica. Um, but yeah, uh, general discussion, recommendations. Do you want to see me play something specific? Um, we've got a uh, water cooler section for memes. We've got a lunch break for food, office pets, for funny animal stuff. We've got an art board. If you create art, we want to see it, post the art over there or links. We've got, uh, the, uh, after hour section for the spicy stuff. Stop by and say hello. Um, we've got the Twitter at Hillbrook Inc. Hillbrook is one word. I and C, uh, schedule reminders, updates that there are changes and notes from management to the board. Just so everyone's aware. Um, I want to thank everyone who stopped in today. Of course. Uh, Ika, I saw I'm not an elk. We had a uh, floppy penguin just stop by. You don't usually see them in chat. It's usually a raid, but it was nice to talk to them. Get their in input on uh, Resident Evil 4. Um, any of the lurkers, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Um, you help the Twitch world go round. Uh, anybody who checks the VODs here on Twitch or on the YouTube repository, thank you. Those numbers help keep me motivated and feel like I'm doing something around here. Um... But I think that's about got it. I hope to see everyone back for Thursday. Remember, if you need a well-thought-out solution, you need a thinking solution. Raven Hillbrook, Inc., thinking solutions. Um, but, yeah, that's about got it. Uh, bye.